mic. There we go. Should be able to hear everything. I hope that's not a sign for how today's going to go for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm ready whenever you guys are. Waiting for heaven to get back. Do it. All right. Sorry, I was washing my hands so they weren't all orangey. How dare orangey. you? Orange. No hiding orangey. here. Yeah, I'll go ahead and move our. Oh wait, let me get open that up first, and then probably switch those around when Michael comes back, and that would should fix everything, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. Pull up our session recap here. Where we at? Oh god, I hate these ads. Okay. Are we ready to go? Maybe. Maybe. Possibly. Possibly. Potentially. <laughs> no rush. The dinosaurs begin again. The dinosaurs? I'm confused. My caps. Oh my gosh, that's right. You had all of those on the last game. It, I thought it was hilarious. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start our recap here. Go for it. So, when last we left our heroes, they continued on their journey towards the strange Deadwood and the mysterious Quiet Laboratory. Climbing through the mountain pass, they narrowly avoided the dangerous creatures therein and saw a strange shadow blotting out parts of the night sky. As they reached the end of the mountain pass and began their descent off the mountain, Flint attempted to descend first with his trusty giant ram Steve. Getting about halfway down the cliff, Mashed Potato put all of his weight onto a rock that proceeded to crumble before them, and Flint and Mashed Potato went into freefall. Flint canceled the spell, so his steed did not need to suffer that fate, and Kakira dove down to try and sl slow Flint's fall to no real avail. Seeing Flint's fall, Sika quickly summoned a giant eagle to swoop down and save him. A little stressed, but all physically okay, the rest of the party made their way down the cliff face and proceeded on using the giant eagles. They made camp just outside the deadwood and in the night marsica saw a strange creature come to the edge of the forest that just started wailing and wandering the forest's edge just watching it the creature eventually went back and they finished out their night's rest the next day Sega conjured several more eagles for for them to fly the rest of the way to the quiet laboratory they eventually found their way to the entrance and then descended the staircase they were greeted with a floor covered in water and a woman walking through a wall of fire. This woman, apparently known as Rapticas, then asked them a riddle, which they promptly answered correctly. The wall of fire has now dropped, and in front of them, there are three paths. So, you guys see a path... Uh, if you can, if you can go ahead and drag your characters out to the center area. Uh, where, oh, there's the map. Okay. Yep. It's going to be a lot of black. Um, if you want, you can zoom out. And then... Oh. Yeah, and then if, if it's doing funky things, I can re... I am teeny tiny. Teeny tiny. Yeah, your size is the correct size. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, Maybe this place is that. this place is pretty big. What? So let me resize all of your guys' tokens here, <laughs> and then we'll just say Flint is with you guys. Uh, let me let me bring him out. Flint Firebolt. And then I'll have him drag it out so that he can make his decision on where he wants to go. Okay. So. Which direction are you guys wanting to go first? Is this all we can see? This is all you can see currently. I vote left. Hmm. Left sounds can good. I, can I, I send Aldra down direction. the left tunnel? Sure. What are you doing? Um, how far are you going to send her? Um... 
the 100 feet that I get to talk with her, I suppose. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right. So that would be... Don't mind me, Sega. Just borrowing this arm. Thanks. Oh, yeah, that's right. I actually got it to snap to the grid so that it works. All right, so you're going to basically get her to just the end with that. You, Where is my polygon reveal? Boop, 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 boop. Uh, to the end of the corridor is about 100 feet. And what is uh, Aldra has dark vision? 120 feet. 120 feet. Then they would be able to see. Up until this point. A lot of space here. So, going the left direction, uh, Aldra do, 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 takes up 18. Do, do, do. So, from what Aldra can see, what's, uh, are you, uh, you just flying her down there you having her check things how how are you going about this well she um how far from me is that so 75 to there while you're figuring that out i'm gonna grab um i'm gonna grab a book real quick so is it because if it's just 100 feet then i get her to like here. Well, sort of. Dude, you can't rest your Aaron, hand on my keyboard. You how to go down is it... Thing. Is it 100 feet distance, like, measured from me, or 100 feet of movement? 100 because feet... Because if it's 100 feet, then I get her to here. So right here. Yeah, it's 100 feet from Being... you. Oh, okay. Um, you are the center so point. So she'll be, like, here. Okay. Um, and I'd probably just leave her there. Okay. So. And if she can, oh, okay. Um, continue if you have, if you got more you want to say. I would just leave her there and tell her that we'll meet with her in a second. Okay. And to come back to me if there's any movement. Let me just check something real quick. Mm-hmm. Um, how many hit points does Aldra have? One. So as soon as um, Aldra gets to this point here, what she sees is a series of copper-colored metal plates lining the wall of the path. Um, oh. And as soon as she reaches the edge of it, it seems to heat, and the you see in her connection, she just burns. <laughs> and Aldra dies. Oh. So you guys would see me abruptly come back, and um, <laughs> I'd be like, well... Um... Sorry, Aldra. So we don't have a lookout. Um, there, there are some copper plates that heat up things down the hall, like really hot, and may or may not have made. Oh, sorry. Out. Nope, nope, nope. I was wrong. I did that wrong. She's still alive, but she does see the copper plates oh. moving through. I did that incorrectly. She is still alive. Aldra's. 
Yay, Alder's alive! <laughs> sorry, that, sorry, guys, sorry about the emotional whiplash there. She played a prank on me. Yep. False alarm. <laughs> <laughs> she got scared and she played dead from it, that's all. So there are copper plates, but I know nothing about what they do. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Uh, Aldra did feel like a sort of tingling, though. Okay. I would see. Um. Do we want to risk that, or do we want to try another direction and see if it proves to be less tracky? Oh, poop. That's only 30 feet. I mean, we already know what's down that tunnel, sort of. Well, at least save sort of. us. It would save us it, accidentally walking see, into something. Does she see anything in the room? So, behind the there, little bit that she can see. Yeah, uh, past that point, she would be able to see. Uh, <clears throat> let me check this. It seems to be a rather open room, and then there are stairs leading up and a corridor that pans to the left. Yep. Okay. Uh, this this left to the left. Actual yeah, left, so right. like above I, I above these Actual stairs. Left. Oh, I'm still on my polygon reveal. <laughs> yep, up these stairs up and to the mm -hmm. left. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's up to you guys. Um, we're gonna have to pick a hallway eventually, and I get the feeling that none of the hallways are gonna be exactly pleasant. <laughs> okay. So. Well. I agree. Onward we go. Sure, yeah. Um, okay. I'll come out of Aldra and say, well, that's pretty much what we know. Might as well try it and then head that way, I guess. All right. So you're making your way up that direction? Yeah. I'm making my way downtown. Oh, my God. Um, to before where she felt the tingles and, and things. Before that point? Yeah. All right. So uh, what's your guys' marching order? As you I'd probably be towards the front. Towards the front? Maybe next to Calvio. Sure. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'll be somewhere in the middle. Hey, are we stopping like here? Is is this about as far as we get before we feel the tingling? Uh, just let me know what your marching order is first before uh, you guys go down the hall. Me, Heaven, me, Patrick Sega Flint. Yeah. Patrick Sega Flint. Okay. Akira. All right. So. Marshakar. <laughs> Gonna use actual names. Um. Marsica, are you rushing ahead like that? No. I'm just uh, trying to figure out if this is where the tingly is, or if, if we're back here is. It it starts um at this point is where Aldra found it. Okay. Um, okay. So, since Calvio's leading the way, um, doo -doo 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 -doo, and your passive perception is above 15, you see in this spot right here, there is a pit of water. Wait, what Where? Oh. I, just, oh. I just drew it in front of you guys. Okay. There's a pit? Like, yeah, there's. It, it seems to be filled with water. So, if, in order to get the, get across, you guys are gonna have to swim through it. Counter offer. Do I see anything in the water? Sega make looks, me a perception check. Or Calvia looks at Sega and says, "Can you help with water?" Um. <laughs> water. <laughs> you might be lucky. Might be able to. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So you'd be like, we don't have to swim in that. Um. So he would cast water watch. 
<laughs> All right. How long does that last? <laughs> An hour. <laughs> All right. Ooh. No, it's all good. That lined up very well. Yeah. Uh, how many people does it work on? Uh, up to ten willing creatures that I can see. Excellent. Great. Flint, Flint uh, begrudgingly would be willing. He's a little on edge at the moment from his previous ordeals. I'm sure. Hopefully there isn't any giant frog creatures in there. I would totally like look over and see if I can see through the water before I walked over it, though. Yeah, make me a perception check for those that want to look into the water. Holy smokes, that's <laughs> number two. Where's my bonus for this again? I will try. Mm. Why not? Perceptual. There it is. Oh, great. 21. <laughs> 14. Nice. 17. <laughs> All right. So at the very bottom of this pool, there seems to be nothing. It's just water. Uh, he, he really uh, gave us a go for it, didn't he? Yeah, but you guys Got are it. currently standing on top of the uh, about uh, at some points two inches, some point six inches of water that's on the floor. You guys are now currently standing on top oh. of it. So, yeah, the whole floor oh. in this area oh, is covered in, in not, water. So it's not a pit of water. No, no, no. This oh. is, so the whole floor is covered in water. Okay. But this is a little bit deeper. This is, as you, with, with a, um. Oh, it's just uh, like a, like a pothole that got filled with more water. Or is it? Yeah, it's, food? it's, no, it's like a pit. It's like a pit oh, that's okay. like 15 feet deep about. Okay, yeah, oh, see that? Okay, oh. okay, that's fair. That's, uh, I would have been sad for CJ if it was like, you use water walk for five inches of water. <laughs> we would have had to swim through it. That five inches of water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> shall we? Yeah, so you guys sure. and make your way through uh, the hallway. Um, and continue to that next point. Um, yeah, Michael says he'll be on in like an hour. I got the time difference wrong. Big sad. Oh, big sad. Yeah, that's my fault. My practice mute decided to attack my ball. I feel like that's important to mention. It just <laughs> I'll write it in the notes, Kevin. Thank you. Yeah, that's important. It is. It is. <laughs> it's important. I'll get very, knowledge. very important. It'll come up later. So you guys all walk across and yeah, get across that pit. Uh, if everybody can place their tokens in front of the next corridor, let me go ahead and draw. Right there? Yep, the pit, the area where you would see this doo -doo 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 -doo. up there, <laughs> down there. Oh God! Why is it doing that? Okay. What the hell? So this whole corridor into the next room, um, you see, is the copper-plated metal uh, lines the walls of this path before you. Like as plates, or is it like a solid? strip all the way down it's it's a plates on the wall as you're okay. passing so it's a bunch of bunch of different plates yeah bunch of like okay. copper plates a bunch of them <clears throat> i play Baldur's game i know at least two versions i'm just kidding <laughs> uh, do i see anything like Ooh. in the wall around us i have an idea make me a perception check what's your idea can Marsha go, like, shoot an arrow down the hallway to see if anything happens? Yeah, sure. 24. Go for it. Okay. Go ahead and loose okay. your arrow. You don't need me to roll. You, you don't even need to roll for that. You just okay. loose the arrow down. Okay. Um, with Calvio's 24, you watch as down this hallway, you just 
eye her arrow as you're looking around and then it catches your attention as you see the arrowhead start to glow red hot the farther it goes down this hallway the wood seems fine the fletching seems fine but by the end of it the arrowhead gets so hot that the arrow seems to catch fire at the end of it and burns but the arrowhead makes it across to the end the arrowhead was what started the fire yeah but the arrowhead is what started the fire it, it is it was red hot can so I, I take so you go ahead and one... lose one of your arrows you don't mind marking yeah. that off did yeah. I see anything in the walls by the way other than these did, um, but... copper plates nothing Okay, Not really. and nothing like by us before. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Can I take one singular ball bearing and like gently roll it to see what happens to it? Of course. So you watch as the ball bearing moving forward. Um, about. I would, I would roll it slow so it like stops at a point where we could see it. Just watch. Not like down the hall. Oh, okay. Yeah. So no you watch. Water in the hallway. This hallway, uh, it's along the floor that there's water, but above, like, these plates are a little bit above where the water is. It's not like they're below. They're, like, a few inches above. Okay. Um, and what was I going to say? Ball bearing. Um, so <laughs> since there is water, the ball bearing would probably would l go and Float. plunk in it. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's see. Or sink. I guess it would sink. Yeah, it would, it would probably sink. Um, in, but the, I'd say the copper plates go down to the bottom of this. You would be able to see that in the water where the ball bearing is, you watch it for 10 seconds, 30. The longer it stays in that position, the hotter it seems to get. And it's starting to just like, bubble and boil the water that's around it good fun um and, and there's nothing <clears throat> on the walls like a lever or a secret button not that you've been able to discern <laughs> does anybody have protection from fire or heat um Protection from energy nope. is the spell you're looking for. Ah, uh, I see. Um, nope. not currently. Then, Dang. I cast firebolt down the hallway. Yeah. And see what it, happens. The firebolt, you loose it, it goes down the hallway, and it seems to act normally. And it didn't get like hotter or anything. Nope. Can I shoot? Okay. One of the, uh, one of the, what, what is it, a bronze, the circle copper. of bronze, copper, copper things? Can I shoot Which one of them? Yeah. Which copper plates? Oh, you can try, you can try and shoot them. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'll try that. Um, I'd like to try to shoot one of them to see what okay. happens. Sure. Do you need me to roll? No, yeah, uh, sorry. I'm just so used to you rolling after I really don't need you to. <laughs> Um, so you shoot one of the copper plates, it seems to just, like, hit it and glance and go off into the corridor. Same thing okay. that you've seen happen to the arrowhead is starting to happen. Hmm. Did it look like it damaged the plate at all, or? Not really. It seems to be a part of the wall. There isn't any writing. There's nothing out of the ordinary on the walls anywhere. Or the ceiling. No writing, no levers, nothing on the ceiling here that you've been able to see. This is a mean puzzle. Okay. Um... <laughs> this is a bad idea. Uh... So the ring of protection that I have... Mm-hmm. 
Is it metal? Yeah. Shit. Can can Kakira just like stick her hand down the hallway? Just a little bit. Just like hold her hand out. Yeah, sure. What are you wearing? Um leather. Leather? Your yeah. hand seems to be fine as you're sticking it in there. Um there's... Can I? Oh, sorry. No, go for it. Go for it. Uh and seeing that, can I like take my take another arrow and like break the arrowhead off and like just shoot it down with no arrowhead on it? Oh, so like uh... basically just the wood and feather? Yeah, sure. You break the arrowhead off. It seems to go through, and the arrow without the arrowhead seems to be fine. And then it lands a little bit down the water and goes... <laughs> seems this hallway does not like metal. Yeah. Go ahead and mark another that arrow off. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I think I have a lot of metal things on me. Yeah, me too. And including <laughs> my ring of protection. Uh, um, Calvio, make me an intelligence check. Nope, shit. Okay. Then have a him pay. Oh, that's okay. Fifteen. Fifteen. Um, it seemed to take a while for the arrowhead to start hurting and, or not to start hurting but to start um, getting hot to the point where it seemed to cause discomfort and from where you had the ball bearing it seemed to be a while still it took like a good 20-30 seconds before you think you might be able to get through the hallway in 20 seconds if you run we just have to move run for it well we can okay uh we could go yeah. one at a time just run down the hallway i'm just gonna run all right you're going for it what kind of armor are you wearing light what uh, yeah but what is it made of Oh, studded leather. Studded leather. So you run. By the end of the hallway, it starts getting a little uncomfortable as you feel like the metal bits heating up. But you get to the end of the hallway. And and particularly your swords, which have a lot of metal on them. You watch as they kind of like slap at the sides of your leg. And those, are, those hurt a little bit. Not enough to do damage. But it's very uncomfortable by the time you get to the end. And the suit didn't help at all. It didn't matter. The suit didn't matter here. Yeah. Shit. Okay. Well. Yeah. What's this? I forgot. Uh, you so were I get that to the suit. end. So I guess I'm like. Oh, hang on. Am I like here? Yeah, you'd at be at point? the end. Yeah, that's where you would be. Uh. Oh, let me move Flint. Flint would be. Oh no. Oh. Flint's going to have a hard time. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Maybe. Hang on. <laughs> uh, blue magic disc? <laughs> so I would get to the other end and like be like, that's not comfortable. <laughs> hey, Flint, how fast do you run? He goes, oh, not very fast, and we gotta, and he kind of, like, pulls up his armor, which he is currently wearing a chain shirt. Not good. How fast does Tensor's floating disc move with you? <laughs> Wait, hey, this is mobile. It would keep up, I you think. Move more than 20 feet away from it. The disc follows you so that it remains 20 feet of you. Okay, so it moves as fast as you do. Uh, does anyone have a better idea than me taking 10 minutes to... Uh, I mean, you have a 
shape-shifting druid. Could, but do you want to use... I mean, it's it's a it's a ritual. It literally costs you nothing. Could we run? Would it water take them about ten there? minutes? Would it take them about ten minutes to get over? No, it'd take them like Mind maybe it. ten seconds if they run, like ten to twenty seconds. No, like everyone. Okay, no, yeah, definitely not then. Yeah. Um. I don't know. I got the best option I got to get Flint across. Um. He he would Flint would uh, make me another intelligence check. Okay. Flint didn't roll very high. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, eighteen. You think if uh, those wearing metal armor, if they take it off and is mo and if the armor is moved magically, perhaps it won't hurt those around it. Okay. Hey, uh. Hey, Flint. How yeah. much does your armor weigh? Um. And he kind of picks it up and, like, maybe 10 pounds? 5, 10 pounds? Take it off. Asking me to disrobe in front of. Take off your stupid armor. <laughs> he goes, okay, and, like,. Takes off the chain oh. shirt, and you see Flint. He's doing this, and he's still got his normal I, clothes on. As he does this, I cast Mage Hand. Okay. Um, and I'll send Mage Hand down the hall. Let me double check to see how heavy. It can't pounds. carry more than ten pounds. Uh, yeah. Typically weighs seven kilograms, which is less That's than more than ten pounds. I think. Uh, how heavy sure is the chain and weight? And I'm for sure a kilogram yeah. somewhere around yeah. like one and a half pounds. It's fifteen pounds. Oh, yeah. it is. Uh, it's You're fifteen right. pounds, just over. I was. Oh, not I was about to say it's almost double. Yeah. Yeah. So you send over the mage hand, and it just it can't lift it from his. From his hand. <laughs> uh, I can take it and just, like, sort of fly down the hallway. It's gonna be real hot. We have rope. I can, like, tie it so it's hanging off somewhere. Okay. Yeah, but it's gonna catch the rope on fire. Not if I, uh, I guess if you don't take too long, yeah, it wouldn't matter. Because I, I, don't, I don't have to run through the water. You just fly. I can, yeah, I can all right. just, like, sort of fly down the hallway. Okay. As long as everyone else can haul ass, it's probably fine. Uh, do you have anything else, Flint, that I can carry for you? Um, I think I'll manage with everything else. Okay. So I'll, I'll take the hand back. All right. So how are you trans? Anybody else have metal armor? No. All right. Of course, Flint is the only one with metal armor. We're all squishy. Yeah. Um, um, so, how are you transporting his chain shirt? Uh, either like in my bag or like hanging off to the side with a rope. Okay. So I'm not like wearing it or like holding on to it or anything like that. So, which way are you going to choose to do it? Uh, with the rope. With the rope. Okay. So you go ahead and tie your rope around um, Flint's chain shirt. Oh, that's not what mm -hmm. I wanted. I want this one. Um, trying to make sure he doesn't have anything else in his arsenal that can help right now. Yeah, not at the moment. Okay. So you tie it around, and mm -hmm. are you going to go next, or is somebody else going to go next? Uh, I'll go okay. next. All right. So okay. Uh, but before I go, I'm gonna take my visor off of my head and okay. store it in my bag. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> um, sure. since the visor does have metal bits on it, it's probably a good idea. So as you 
run and dash. How are you moving down the hallway? Uh, I'm going to, like, sort of fly. Like, I'm going to flap my wings to get, get as much, like, forward momentum as I can. So it'll be like the sprint flying kind of a thing. Flying. All right. So since you're flying, um, you manage to get just to the edge of the hallway before as your rope catches fire at the end. And it's it's left at the end you can quickly try and grab it and pull it but you think at this point it might hurt a little bit it's looking pretty warm I, the longer it sits the worse it's gonna get the worse it's gonna so get so i i will just kind of are you gonna go for it <laughs> okay yeah. so uh you would take as you go ahead and grab the armor you're gonna take six points of fire damage from the heated metal at the end of this but that being Good the job. only large bit of metal the each of you run past through this hallway experiencing some discomfort as what calvio experienced but uh and then Sh flint is able to put on his armor quickly when I get to the other end, can I just, like, lay down in the water so my sword's cool? <laughs> <laughs> sure, yeah, <laughs> if, if you want to do that. As Marsica lays down in the water, uh, go ahead and place everybody's token back into this room now, if you don't mind. Yeah. Put that up there. I guess uh, Fang could just kind of trot along, huh? A -doo, a -doo. Yep, Fang was, Fang's fine coming through. Um, like, why are you guys going so fast? Yeah. As Marsica uh, begins to lay down in the water, you watch as... Where are we at here? Polygon reveal. Um, this door, or this wall, slides open to reveal many hungry faces eyeing all of you. I need you guys to go ahead and roll initiative. Shit. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Are we at here? And I'll go ahead and roll for Flint. Uh, Flint did not roll too great. Dexterity plus three. Okay. Is nine. And then Marsica, what did you get for initiative? Twenty. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. See, so got. Okay, Calvio. 23. Nice. You guys all rolling real high. Kakira. Fang got, uh, sorry. It's okay. 16. Okay, Fang. Fang got 21. Hell yeah. And then. Oh, oh. Uh, Even I don't. I roll well. What did Flint get? Flint got nine. Sad oh, no. oh. But he's not going last. So, descending. Uh, Marsica, you're the first on your feet. As, as she's laying in the water. As she's laying in the water. So you are you are you are currently prone. So you need to if if you want to stand up, use half your movement to stand up. Yeah. Since you're currently laying yeah. in the water. Yeah. Basically, she lays down to let the swords cool off, and then sees the door open, and she's like, "Nope." Stands and jumps up. Um. Let's see. Can I? Uh, the, does the measuring thing work? Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Okay. So. And this wall you... here has slid open to reveal a door. Okay. So 
I think I was there just fine. Yep. With my. With the 15 feet you have left. Yeah. Let's go here. And can I see these guys pretty clearly? Yeah, you can see this guy without any. Uh, I keep switching the putting the wrong tool. You can see this guy pretty clearly. This guy pretty clearly. I'd say most of the other ones, due to the nature of line of sight, uh, would have plus two cover. But are more like these two would have plus two, but and these three, but every you can hit many of them right. without issue. Right. Okay. Um, what I will do then is I will cast Hunter's Mark. Okay. Which one are you casting it on? The first one. Oh yeah. Sorry. I guess I should have. Yeah. Cast it on that guy. Okay. Uh. Shoot to kill. All right, make me an attack roll. That's right, I have. Oof. fourteen. Fourteen hits. Go ahead and roll for damage. <laughs> Play with my dragon dice now. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Where's my one d eight? Then plus five. Calvio's on deck. That was a sad... Oh, that was a sad roll! <laughs> what do you got? The damage on that one was eight. Eight total? Total. Oh, man. I didn't think you could roll below a ten. Two? <laughs> And a one. Oh no. That's right? so bad. Uh, but I do get another attack. So. Yep. Go for it. Loose another arrow. Uh, this one's a 25. Alright, then... yeah, that definitely hits. That one and then the one behind it. Fourteen. Fourteen points. points of damage. That is how many hit points it had. You watch as you lose two arrows, one in the shoulder, one in the head, and this one falls to the ground dead. Is yes. that the end of your turn? Yes. All right, Calvio, you're up. Man. So many options. Okay, well, the first thing I'm going to do is... is um blade thing. Okay. I'm gonna do that. Do that thing. Um, and then I'm sure, why the fuck not? <laughs> um, how many feet do they have to be? Yeah, okay. Um, of course, he's dead. I'm gonna come right here, and right. I'm going to cast Green Flame Blade. Nice. And smack this dude. The one right in front of you. Yeah. Go ahead, make me an attack roll. Um, and this one is gonna be with my rapier. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Well, I just have to say it because the the damage is different. Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm laughing at Patrick's comment. Oh, they all had glorious mustaches. Uh, nope, that's uh, an arm they're eating. Six, I realized that once hit. I zoomed in. Sixteen hits. Okay, and so then it takes one D eight plus four of that. Oh, good eight. So it takes twelve damage from the sword and then it takes nice. um, so eight, another 8 damage of fire 20 and then the points. one that's 5 feet from it right here okay. takes <laughs> 5 points of fire damage nice that one in front of you is looking real hurt um my mom my mom 
So, because I technically cast a cantrip that mm -hmm. I have to attack for, does that mean that I can cast a spell? Or is that... Is your spell a bonus action? action? Uh, yeah, the cantrip is the bonus action to... No, no, it's part of your action, isn't it? That's what it says Casting in the... Casting time is one action, yeah. Yeah, so it's part it's of like... your action to make that attack. So if you have a... Um... I'm just trying to decide if I if I can make a spell or if I can do a second attack. If you have a spell that is a bonus action, you can use that. Okay, even though I attack okay. with the bonus a with your with your action. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. no, blade sinking is my bonus action. Blade sinking oh, is my bonus okay. action. Okay. Cool. Just kidding. Um. So yeah, I'm done. Cool. All right. That's the end of your turn. Fang is up. Sieg is on deck. Uh. Fang. Did he get again? He has, what, 30? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oh, 40. Okay, yeah. So he's gonna come... Oops. Run up next to Calvio. And he'll attack the guy that Calvio was attacking. Okay. Is he allowed to stand here? Is that okay? Yeah, it, that the dead body okay. is basically just difficult terrain. It'll cost him an extra five feet to get off of it. Oh, okay. Uh, no worries. So he'll attack this guy. Okay. Go ahead and make and... an attack roll. Okay. He gets advantage. Okay. Attack tactics. Advantage. Seventeen. Seventeen hits. And then it's two. Oh, I didn't even do advantage. I just like it's fine. <laughs> you didn't even do the advantage. Oh no. I was like, oh, it was higher than the fourteen that I rolled this time. I guess. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I don't know. Can you D4? Okay. There we go. Ooh, nice. Ooh, also nice. Uh, blah, blah, blah. 2D4. So that is 12 points of damage that he did on that one. On the one that, uh, Calvio struck? Yeah. Alright, then that one. You watch as Fang jumps up biting into the putrid flesh of this long dead thing and it falls to the ground dead all right is that fang's turn yep that's it all right siga you're up kakira you're on deck okay everyone being up close and personal always makes this so difficult for me <laughs> I'm like, do I damage them as well at this point, or...? <laughs> That's up to you. Uh... How, what would Sega do? You could also hold your turn. You can hold your action. Like, if something comes out of the room, you can say, I'm going to hold, I'm going to stand here and hold my action to attack if something leaves the room. That's also an option. Like, it's, it's, the world is your oyster. <laughs> Oh, it's all good. I didn't leave myself to think that they were very conducive to battling for some reason. Um, sorry, I had to rethink everything. <laughs> Uh, let's 
do let's do a brown bear <laughs> turn it into a brown bear Burr. even though that's still Burr. pretty big <laughs> yeah brown bear takes up four squares is that what is you want to do still still the four squares oh yeah. gosh um it's a good option uh, keep them from coming out if that's what your goal is or you can just hang out uh if you have another cantrip like thorn whip you can throw one in yeah. and attack these guys David was already talking about that, that, and I changed all of them, and so I don't have that one anymore. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't be able to ca change out cantrips. Cantrips are fixed. As a druid? Uh, yeah, druids, cantrip. Uh, for every class, cantrips are fixed. You don't change a out cantrips. You change out I... first level spells and above. I oh. have, like, nine cantrips. Uh, you should but I can only have, have three cantrips. at a time. Yeah, you, no, like, you only choose three, and then those are your cantrips until you get more oh, like cantrips. Oh, like forever? Forever. Yeah, that's how that works with, with druids. Oh, it's not like a spell thing? Nope. Oh. Yeah. I had no idea. That's totally fine. No worries at all. Yeah. <laughs> the, you, oh, Bowman, you keep knocking stuff over. Um, yeah. Uh, the only classes that change out cantrips is if it says you can change out a cantrip at certain levels right so oh. um in tasha's cauldron of everything like for sorcerers it allows them to change out a single cantrip at every ability score increase or if you're a wizard it allows you to change out a cantrip every long rest oh. but but all Who the i well, yeah all the other classes that, so yeah cantrips <laughs> known that's how it does that it's no big deal yeah, may no have told her wrong on that because I got used to being able to do it. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> that no might worries. Be at all. My fault. <laughs> it's all good. I can't uh, remember. Okay. So I should technically still have that, but yeah, it, yeah you should I'll, technically I'll still have that. So, <laughs> so what were? Do you remember the first cantrips that you chose? Um, it was probably something like thorn. I know thorn whip was one of them for okay. sure. So you could I had switch that one for a while. Oh gosh, it's been so long. Um, I'll figure that out in a second. Okay, when sounds it's good. Not my turn, and I'm on the spot. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, I knew I had that one. Um, if you knew okay, you had Thorn Whip, you can use one. Thorn Whip if you want to. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make it easier. I will definitely do that one. Um, so right. I'd probably what's the range on this? been a hot minute 30 oh yeah i've got plenty of room mm -hmm. uh, i've got range of sight on this one right can you ping it again yep you do that one okay. from your angle yep okay cool um so then i'd probably just stay right here uh are they they're smaller than large right creatures yeah, yeah they are they are medium-sized creatures okie dokie then I'd probably attack this one, and then he'd also get pulled 10 feet closer to me in the All process. Right. Go ahead and make me an attack roll. Okay. I feel like I haven't done this in forever. What? I totally blanked. Is there a modifier for my attack roll? Yep, it's your spell modifier. My spell modifier? Yeah. <laughs> All good. No worries. 21. Oh, sounds good. You hit easily. You, the, okay, cool. the thorn wraps around his ankle, um, or more like his torso, since it doesn't knock him prone. Um, and then go ahead and roll for damage. Okay, so that's six points of piercing damage. Nice. All right, six points of piercing damage, and you watch as it's pulled ten feet closer to you. <laughs> Right there. <laughs> That's such a terrible part of that spell yeah. sometimes. Um, okay, sorry. Maybe not. Yeah. So that's um, that's the end of your turn, unless there's anything you'd like to do for your bonus action. Um. Actually, yeah. Well, I'm not bonus action, but I'm gonna use some of my movement, and I'm gonna back up a smidge. All right. Sounds good. Um. Gonna back up over here. All right. <laughs> Kakira, you're up. I'm gonna sacred flame the one that just got pulled out of the room. Awesome. Yeah. 
go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw. What's your DC? Does matter, it fails. Go ahead and roll for damage. Excellent. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter, it fails. Like any extra? No. Okay. Uh, seven points of radiant damage, I believe. Seven points. Nice. All right. This one's looking pretty hurt that just came out out of the door. Is that the end of your turn, or are you doing anything else? Um. I'll go. Eh. I'll go ahead and cast spiritual weapon as well. All right. You gonna bring it out and <clears throat> thump him? Yeah, I'm gonna thump the same one. All right, go, uh, go ahead and make me an attack roll. That I need to roll for. Seventeen. Seventeen. Um. Yeah, that definitely hits. Cool. And then where did? And then that's 10 points of force damage. All right. You watch as a tombstone comes out of thin air and thumps this guy across the head and knocking him dead. All right. Is that the end of your turn? Yep. I'm going to stay where I am. Awesome. Now it is Flint's turn. He is going to look in his character sheet here. Um, let me make sure to see if that's that should be a bonus action. Yep, that's a bonus action. That's a reaction. Okay, cool. He is going to. He should have more cantrips than that too. So cantrips known. You guys are sixth level. Nope, he only knows three. Okay. Um. Yeah, he is going to, you watch as um, unsure of what to do and seeing enemies come out. He's going to trace a sigil in the air and touch his shoulder and he's going to cast Blade Ward. And then, uh, so he has resistance to piercing, slashing, and bludgeoning damage for the next turn. And then he's going to move right here and say, Oh, Calvio, I wish I gave you one of my best meats, but... Take this instead, and he's going to inspire Calvio. Woo! Nice. Um, and then that will be Flint's turn. Ghouls were a one? I just noticed that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, they're at the bottom. So it is now the ghoul's turn. Um, seeing living things enter their space that they haven't in possibly centuries they're going to rush around to do, 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 do. this one's going to try and make his way out he was right there 5 10 15 20 25 30 25 10 15 20 25 he's going to get up right to flint and then oh, this shit. one is going to get right there this one's going to get right there so <laughs> um, there's going to be two attacks on fang Two attacks on Calvio. So first, uh, first attack on Fang is a uh, an eight to hit, assuming that misses. Second attack on Fang. Leaves that does. Yeah, he's a sixteen. Yeah. Sixteen. All right. Second attack misses too. Third, the third one is going to go after Calvio. What's your armor class right now? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yeah, that misses. Oh, Bo. He hears me rolling dice, and he's like, I want to play with the things. <laughs> and then that one misses. Bowman. And then the last ghoul is going to try and make a strike at Flint. That will hit, actually. So that's the only one that fits. And it hits Flint, but he has resistance against slashing damage this turn. So. Oh my god. It's 2d4, and I rolled two fours. I'm so sorry. Flint. Oh, oh, um, that's <laughs> 10 God, points of damage reduced to 5 because of his um, his deal. 
So it's only five points of slashing damage, and then he has to make a constitution saving throw, which he's going to make. And then that is the ghoul's turn. We are now back to Marsica. Okay. Uh, Marsica's going to shoot that guy. Um, move uh, Bonus action first, though. Move her hunter's mark to that guy, too. Sounds good. This guy. Um, then she's going to shoot him. Let's see. Did you make it? 19? Oh, yeah, that hits. Oh. One, seven, eight, right? Eight, eight. And then he made six. Don't step on my keyboard. Buddy. He's so cute. He is. Every time I come home, yeah. like, I pick him up and I hold him in my arms and he just starts to purr now. This is like, oh, dude. Oh. How much damage do you do, Marsica? Sorry, what? How much damage do you do? Oh, 13 points of damage for the first hit. All right. Go for your second attack. Calvio's on deck. Only for the second hit. Uh, That's a 29 to hit. Oh, yeah, that hits. Roll for damage. Also, if you guys know that you're going to attack, I'm totally cool with you pre-rolling attack rolls. Not the, um, if you want to pre-roll attack and damage to, like, speed up through combat stuff, if you know what you're doing. Okay. Totally cool with that. Oh, this is going to be a good, uh, this is going to be a good turn. I'm so excited. 17 points of damage for the second. I'm so 17. excited. Marsica yeah. drops another ghoul that has been bearing down on I'm flames. so excited. You're so excited. Did uh, you Calvi is gonna kill everything. Yes. Apparently. After oh, that, yeah. I think I'll have her move in. Because can she... Right now she can only see, what, this guy? These guys, maybe? Currently, yeah. Which, what, what can she see from her point of view right now? Um, You would be able to see this guy fairly clearly. The other ones are kind of uh, behind Fang and or Calvio. Okay. Would moving closer make that better, or is that just... You don't need to. You have a ranged weapon. As long as you're within 30 feet, <laughs> or 60 feet, since it's a longbow, you're fine. Well, I mean, oh. being able to see them, though, the other ones. Oh, if you, moving move, closer, if you move, I have a just get a different idea. vantage point, you can go here. What? what? If you just get a different vantage point, like move around the corner, you might be able to get more. But yeah, that's I, what I'm asking. Way. Yeah, that's that's yeah. what I'm thinking. Okay. Move there. All right. Is that the end? And of then, deck? can I see them? Below? Okay. Yes, yeah. you that's can it. see them. Yeah. All right, Calvio, you're up. I have such a better idea now, though. What do you got? What are you doing? You can switch oh, it. Oh, this like is gonna be different... so cool. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm. No. I'm just gonna waste the crit. Stop. It's fine. I'll, I'll give it for somebody else. Okay, I'm gonna... So I'm gonna provoke two attacks of opportunity, I think. Or maybe just one. Yeah, two. Two attacks. So I'm moving around to here. That would be three attacks. So this one and this one, right? And this one, since you're leaving its space. But I'm in his, but I'm in his space. No, this one. Uh, okay, yeah, whatever. This it's one, fine. this one, and this one. Yeah, it's fine. Go around that one. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. So, uh, that's going to miss. That's going to miss. That's going to miss. Great. I'm casting Thunder AC. Wave at uh, first level. All right. Thunder Wave at first level. And this way. So, it's going to. So, these three are the right side of the square. <laughs> so, it keeps Fang from getting hit. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so they all need to make constitution saving throws, correct? Yes. What's this, the DC? Uh, 15. 15. Two of them fail. We'll say the first two fail. Okay. And then, so the first one, I need another D8, David. 
The first one takes 15 points All right, of so thunder damage and is pushed 10 feet from me into the other one, I guess. The second one takes 14 points of thunder damage and is pushed. And then okay. the other one, I guess, is fine. Takes half damage. So oh, the first uh, okay. One, so then that one so, takes. Uh, yeah. So generally, you just roll five once. points. Generally, you just oh. roll once, and then they all take that damage. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so the second so, one actually took fifteen, not fourteen. Okay. Um, and then so then that would be fifteen, fifteen, seven. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Um. They can't really be pushed because they're in. T they can't occupy the same space. But since they failed to save, we'll say they're prone. Sounds great. For that. Um. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Okay. Is that the end of your turn? Go Fang. Go Fang. Insta crit. Right. Fang, Fang, Fang. Turn. Right. Yeah, both of them He's gonna go the for this one here because okay. he still gets pack tactics with this one, right? Sounds good. You have advantage either way with which one. And I believe if they're no, they're not unconscious. If they were unconscious, then it would be an auto crit. But Oh, is that how that works? Okay. Yeah, if they're unconscious, it's an auto crit. You have advantage okay. to hit and auto crit. But if they're just prone, you just have advantage to hit. Okay, well yeah. uh then I guess I'll just go ahead and get the one in front of him then. All if right, he has advantage. Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead and make me an attack roll. Uh, so 14 plus whatever Fang has. Oh, that was the first 14, one. Let me yeah, see if I can... No, the second one was a one. Okay, yeah, we're sticking with the 14. Sounds good. Uh... Uh, well, it was a 14 plus whatever. Yeah. I don't think Sorry. Fang can do less than two damage. So you watch as Fang just like buries his teeth in the throat of this ghoul. Yes, no. correct. You are correct. He would not be able to do less than two damage. Sounds good. So, yeah. Um, that's his turn. That's his turn. Siga, you're up. Know, what are you doing? Um. Okay. So Siga gonna diagonally step over here okay and use thorn whip on this one which one can you ping it, it again that one right there yeah. cool go ahead this and make one. me an attack right roll. at the edge sweet uh gosh something well above a 20 yeah i rolled a good. 19 you're good <laughs> to make me a damage and it's going to get pulled 10 feet towards you. Uh-huh. And that's 11 points of piercing damage. Nice. The one in front of you looks real hurt. Nice. Yeah. Uh, is that the end of your turn? Um, uh, yeah, here. Actually, I'll move over out of Marska's way so she can maybe see again. Sounds oh, good. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think you're like nine feet tall. That would have been fun. <laughs> yeah, they'd, they'd have they'd probably have like turn and sure. look behind you and be like, "Oh, sorry." Uh, <laughs> All like an acrobatics move slide under you to get around. <laughs> Kikira, you're up. Uh, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna stand on top of this body so I'm out of Marska's way. Sounds good. And. <laughs> I'm going to Sacred Flame this guy. All right. DC 15? Yeah, uh, 16. 16. He made the save with a natural 17. Uh, Okay, does he take half damage then? No, he doesn't take any damage from Sacred Flame. Dang it. Oh, yeah. Flame. Sad, sadly. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of sucks. It's like an all or nothing with the cantrips. Um, but you well, have your, your spiritual weapon. Yeah, I guess he's going to get tombstoned. <laughs> All right, go ahead and make me an attack roll. Uh, I Two got uh stars. 19. 19. Oh yeah, that hits. Cool. Where's my D8? Roll for damage. Uh, nine damage. Nine points of damage. The tombstone flying around the corner and just catching this thing in the gut, and then the arm. You watch as it, this ghoul drops to the ground. Um. 
Is that the end of your turn? Uh, yes. All right. It is yep. now Flint's turn, and he is going to. Sorry, trying to monitor monsters and play character. Um, wanting to still. Oh, Aaron. I know. I'm. I am the literal worst. <laughs> Can't you just divide your brain into like seven different things? <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, he will cast, oh, he doesn't want to cast that, um, he's going to take one of his daggers at his side, still wanting to be useful, and, um, he's going to move right here I'll try and get right there and then chuck it at this guy that will hit d4 plus his dex so. three points nice watch as he throws the dagger and it gets caught on this guy's side and then he quickly moves out of the way right there and that is <laughs> Now the, now the ghoul's Everybody. turn. Yeah. Uh, this one is going to use half of its movement to stand up and then turn towards Calvio to make an attack. And it's going to miss. Um, Bye. This one will turn towards Fang to make an attack. Uh, armor class is 16 on Fang, right? Correct. It, it rolled to a 20 and then kept going to 2. That missed. Yep. <laughs> and that happened last session. Yep. Uh, that's the end of their turn. Um, these guys are not going to be able to stand another round with you all. So we'll just say to allow you guys to move forward from this point, you dispatch them easily. They dead. They Joy. they are dead. Much um, dead. Much dead. Um, I believe, Stop. let me check to see how long that inspiration lasts from Flint for Calvio. Dun, 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 dun. It lasts for 10 minutes. So for the next 10 minutes, you can you, you can add a D8 to either an attack roll or uh, an ability check. Okay. So. Uh, is there anything in this room that we were in? Uh, this room, as the fighting seems to die down after you dispatch the last ghoul, seems to be rather empty. Seems to be hold and um, looking at the mechanism, taking some time. It seems to have been set up that if anybody hit the first plate, after it would set up after a certain amount of time the door would start to open for them to come out oh good i'm gonna go get water sounds good so the ghouls are all slain which direction are you guys going to go um well there's only the one direction right unless you guys want to go back it's up to you after all that also, no. real quick, how does Flint look with his damage? Is he okay? He looks pretty okay. He's got a little cut on the side of his arm, but for the most part, he's he's he says, "Oh, I'm I, I'm fine. Don't don't worry about me." Okay. <laughs> so, are we continue down the hallway? Like the stairs, like over here? Yeah, on the left. Sure. All right. Might as well. I'm feeling really good about something in the next 10 minutes. So, you guys make your way through the hallway. We'll go ahead and switch our map here because we're to, uh, uh, moving to a different part of the dungeon. Don Big um, dungeon. Yeah. Uh, let me move you guys here. So, um, you all switch my spot oh i didn't switch you guys over like a dumb i just moved my things over 
There we go. Thanks, Aaron. I know. I'm, <laughs> I am the worst. So go all the way to the right, and then you should see a room here. Go ahead and drag your guys' tokens. Uh, you can place them in this little area as you open the door to see what's inside of this room. And then I'll go ahead and move the, um. move your tokens around. Thank you guys now. would be in this room. Yeah, I see Pang. He's right there. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's in the black down area. I was like, I yeah. thought I dragged him out, but he's gone. <laughs> and then Siga. Yeah, I was oh. gonna say I think I accidentally did that with Siga too. Oh, okay. I will. I will find Siga then. I can. We'll... Oh. What? Hold Maybe. on. I don't see Siga on the map. Okay, hold on then. <laughs> Come on. There, there we go. go. Now I see Siga on the map. <laughs> okay. Let me make you the correct size. So we'll just say that this is all shifted over. Just like we'll say Fang and Flint are on the other side of you guys because they're currently standing in a wall and that's not feasible. Um, but so I don't have to straddle have between two different that. maps. <laughs> that's fine, yeah. It's just true. Um, so let's see which area we're in here. <laughs> Alright, heading up here. So, looking into the path, and, and uh, so who's opening this door first? Um, I can open the door. Calvio. Um, it's fine. Alright. Sure. Cal Calvio's opening the door. Ball and um, Yeah. <laughs> the path to the west is broken by a sizable gap. And you can see the glint of metal at the bottom of the opening. The floor beyond this area has a silvery sheen. In the distance, you can see another hole, beyond which is a patch of floor that adjoins the western wall. On the far platform is a post. So in this, so basically, I, I, I when I made the map, I did it incorrectly. This beginning part right here, uh, there's a little bit that's okay. Like these first four spaces are okay, and then there's a post on the far side of the wall in the middle of this platform. These black spaces are the two pits that you see. Is this the post here? Uh. No, that's part of the door frame. Let me go ahead and see if I can pull out a wooden post. So you guys can see where it is. Wooden post. 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 Yeah. Uh, we'll just... It doesn't look quite like this, but the... Um, the the metal pillar or the wooden pillar that's in the middle of it all this graded stuff is not there but there's a wooden pillar in the center okay. and how wide are these pits the pits seem to be about five, five, feet. five feet wide you're not entirely sure how deep they are yet And you said, so this whole middle area is has a silvery sheen to it? Yeah, this whole middle area and the start of this area. It's just these closest to the wall. It's these four um, that are okay. The silvery sheen starts here and keeps going to the end. Okay. Who wants to touch it? I'm gonna go touch the butt. How are you uh, touching it? <laughs> if, if, if Calvio is going? Um, you said that the floor was fine, like, in front of us, right? Yeah, directly in front of you, it's okay. But if you step forward from that place, it has a really silvery sheen to it. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna throw. I'm gonna walk out onto the steps that are fine. The place that is fine, not silvery. Um, and I'm gonna throw another ball bearing, a singular ball bearing. 
Like, oh. kind of slippery? <laughs> yeah, go ahead and make me a uh, perception check, I guess, as you watch the ball bearing. <sighs> okay, here we go. Perception! That's pretty good. Fifteen. Fifteen. Nice. So, as you see the ball bearing, you kind of toss it. It almost... It doesn't roll ex how you expect it to. You expect it to kind of roll like this, but you see just a little bit of a glint as if it's like it's moving in the direction you pushed it but it's not rolling and moving how you thought it would so it's it's like it has no grip on the ground that's that's you would guess it's slippery what if you drop um, the little ball bearings down the pit to see how long the how, how the pit? okay i will take another ball i'm down to 797 gosh taking all of my ball bearings um and uh i'll throw it down the pit you just toss it yeah, count. Just, just... you gotta count seconds and you'll figure out how yes i'm also counting yes cavio is smart and can do that it's like maybe a second two seconds maybe we hear it. if that oh that's not very deep was it like a metal on metal ting or just a thud you heard a metal on metal ting. Like it hit something oh, metal down there. Great. We shouldn't fall. No. <laughs> okay. Uh... Pokey pit. Jobo says, sounds like David is almost out of balls. <laughs> <God>. No. <laughs> what a dork. Um, well, you start with a thousand of them, and I used 200 of them for something a long time ago. And so now I have. What did you do with that? I don't remember. I threw 200 of them at something, though. So. Yep. Um, I'm glad you're keeping track of that. I probably yep. <laughs> like it. Um, so. Does the. Can I take my dagger and, like, kind of try and, like,. Mess up the silvery sheen. Uh, like scratch it? Yeah, like, so there's, like, grip. So. You can do that. It takes a little bit of time. And you kind of gather. This could work. But. It might take a long time, long time. to be able Is it, to do am this. I, am I hitting metal or stone? Like, almost like a really fine... It's strange. Like, quartz glass. It's hard for even your... Oh, you didn't so have it's a, just very polished. It's extremely polished. Okay. You know. This might be a job for a resident ranger. Yeah. I was just thinking. Um, if you think you can tie a rope to a arrow and... Yeah, I could. I don't know that it would be the most um, trustworthy to use as like a... to hold on to until we tied it to the, the pillar, though. That's the only thing I worry about. How oh. tall is this hallway room thing? It's like maybe 20 feet up to the top. So enough space that somebody could potentially fly to the other side of the room. Yeah. And is there anything on the ceiling or around on the walls? Make me a perception check. Can I also make a perception check? Of course. Do we have any of those pittens left over from climbing? Yes. Yeah, yeah. 26. 26? Doesn't seem like... Uh, I got a 19. A 19 with both of those? Doesn't seem like there's anything on the on the ceiling. That looks looks pretty safe. It, uh, You would know it's it would be pretty clouded, crowded flying to get across this room, like with your whole wingspan and flying across. Like, it would feel like a small space, but you could do it. So, what if we give Kakira one end of the rope, tell him to go across, 
Then we use a pitten to secure the other end of the rope. So that way we just have our secure rope all the way across this room that we can hold on to to make sure we don't slip and slide away. Yeah, where's the sure. where are you where are you anchoring the the rope to again? Can you say that? Uh, like is it a stone I, wall next to us? This wall here. Uh yeah, that is a stone wall at the end there. So if we anchor it into the stone wall here and go straight across to the pillar here and tie it off. But we're not stepping into the slippery when we we anchor it on our side. Correct. Uh yeah, you wouldn't be. You could do that without it's stepping into it. The slippery's okay. over here. This is fine here, right? Me. No, it's these first four. The first, oh, the first part of the wall here. It's as soon as you step away from the wall, it's slippery. Okay, okay. Uh, so opposite yeah. here. Okay. The column. Yeah. We, yeah, so I would stay up against the wall over here. And I'd oh, so I'm anchor like it over here. here. Somewhere then. Yeah. And then... um. Kikiro would fly over to the pillar and secure the other side of it mm -hmm. by tying it over there. Sure. Is it also slippery here? Like, on this side? Seems to be, from what they've seen. Okay. This feels too easy. A little bit. I'm kind of scared. I mean, I could try to shoot an arrow down just to make sure nothing will happen. If that would make you feel better. Um, can I send Aldra down? You don't, oh. No, Aldra's not dead. No, I was Aldra's like, not dead. Wait. Um, yeah, of course. The door is closed. Can Aldra open doors? No, like, wait, there's a, no, like down here? Just to the wooden? Yeah, to the wooden post, there's a door right here. This is what this wooden thing is. You yeah, no, I just want to send her down and, like, fly around and see sure. if she can, like, trigger. And I'm watch I'm not going to, like, look through her eyes or anything. I'm just going to watch her do it. Yeah, go ahead and make me a perception check. Oh, okay, I guess that counts. Um, 18? 18? Yeah. Uh, from what she can see, looks like there is a post. Um... She's not seeing really anything else. There's a post, a door. The door, it's its really slippery. Nothing triggered but... from her doing things? Nope. Um, uh, what if I... Oh, okay. Can I cast Mage Hand? Yeah, where are you casting? Oh, wait. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. This may not matter. Wait, could we not just could we mage hand the rope across and tie it? Nope. No, we can't. Oh. Nope. I'm not casting mage hand because Calvio would know that's farther than thirty feet. Um. Yeah, I think our our, our plan is probably the best way of going about this. Okay. So, as you tie the rope to one of these pittens, go ahead uh, and as you're putting it into the wall. Uh, you can go ahead and make me a strength check to see how well you set it into the wall. Okay. Can I help her? Uh, how are you going to help her? Um, so she's she's not tied to the knot. She's like on the pitten. Yeah, she's, she's setting the pitten. She's, she's setting the pitten and putting it in right now. Okay, um, I'm gonna take my dagger on the wall and like carve out a little bit of a place to make it easier for it to go into the wall. Sure, yeah, I definitely allow that. Go ahead and roll with advantage. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, definitely the first one. All right, um, what have we got? <laughs> that one wasn't funny. <laughs> nice. Not that that's... it was gonna get better, but you know. All right, so you got 20 in the wall. Um, yeah. No 20s for Patrick today. Yeah. We're taking all of them. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Not like I get any anyway. All right. So, how are you guys moving in? So is Patrick, uh, Kakira, 
now grabbing the other end of the rope and taking it across? Yes. All right. So as you you fly it across, uh, going over both of these pits, um, are you going to land and then try and tie it, or are you going to tie it first while you're flying? Uh, I'd probably land and then tie it. All right. So as you land, you can't seem to get a good footing. I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw for me. Uh, 15. 15. Um, all right. Since you, you start to slide back toward, you realize now that these floors are positioned slightly down towards these pits and you start to slide back towards one of them but since you have wings you manage to bring yourself up and keep yourself from falling in um cool. so you can uh, i'll go ahead and allow you to try that one more time you can do that but with disadvantage and um or you can try and tie it so it would be dexterity saving throw to hold it with disadvantage or dexterity survival check with disadvantage since you're flying. So it would be a survival check if I do it flying? If you do it fly flying, it's dexterity survival. Cool. I'm going to do that. All right. That yeah, I slipped once and I was like, okay, flying. I'm not trying that again. Not about that. I'm just going to tie the rope. All right. Uh, 24. With disadvantage? Damn. I thought it was normal if I stayed flying. Since since you're flying, it's harder. Since you're trying to like move around with the wings. It's not like you can hover in one place. Since you're beating your wings, okay. it moves you around. Right? So that, that gives disadvantage. Okay. Sorry, man. That's okay. Uh, 17 then. That's still really good. That's still really good. <laughs> so, you get it? You seem really confident in tying this rope across. Looks looks pretty pretty good. Um, so, what do you guys? I guess next? I'll try to go first. Okay. Um. So I'll I'll just kind of crawl along the rope. I guess not along the metal here. Okay. So like, as as you're crawling across the rope. Um, it is, uh, you are very thankful that a rope has been erected because as you try and you set foot on this slippery surface, your foot almost instantly gives way under you and you're like, oh God, but you manage to keep going. You get to the first pit as you cross. I need you to make me an athletics check. Okie dokie. I know I'm good at that. Oh, kind of. And I stay within about like five feet of her. Sure. What are you trying to do? I just want to stay within five feet of her, just in case. Yeah. So if um, if she is right here, you can be here. But if you want, uh, do you mean on the rope, like holding onto it? Yeah. I mean, if I'm going into the slippery stuff, I'm definitely holding onto the rope. I just want to be. Within, within five, five feet. feet of her. Okay. Yeah, that's totally doable. Yeah, that's probably smart. I don't know why I didn't think about that earlier. That's okay. Like we did with the climbing. Yeah, just have a buddy. Buddy system. Um, I got an 18, by the 18, way. 18, more than fine for the first one. Okay. You get, so you then... get to the next one. I need you to make me one more athletics check. Uh, David, go ahead and make me an athletics check for Calvio crossing the first one. <laughs> dirty 20 dirty 20 you're you're more than fine <laughs> my athletics are plus like zero that. by the way you watch with um... oh wow yeah this one's a 14 14 still fine coming across oh yeah still good okay. okay uh okay and so uh... oh sorry no you're all good so you guys get to the cross how are you getting to the door? Um, 
Do I, I need want... to make another athletics check to get across, by the way? Yes, you do. Thank you. Oh. Okay. What do we got? Forgot I'm... about the door. Got anything. Uh, 12. 12? Still fine. Getting across there. It's okay. a little... Your fingers, you feel the burn a little bit, but you're like, oh, God. It's only five feet. You're good. Okay. So, um... While, while I'm hanging onto the rope at the end here with the pillar, I'd ask mm -hmm. Kakira if you wouldn't mind landing near the door was... and seeing if it's still slippery. Can I, I just... could just open the door. Yeah, can I just push the door open, like fly over to the door and push it open? Uh, it, you can undo the latch and push it open, yes. So then okay. can I... We, we still have th three more people to get across. Yeah. Right, but it Should might be safer to, to open have the people... door. Because the, I think the whole thing is slippery. So it might be good to have somewhere for people to go, because there's only so much space where the rope's actually tied to the post. Yeah. And because the floor is tilted or down is it? towards okay. the pit. It's just if there's anything in that room, there's only three of us to deal with it. And two of us are hanging onto a rope right now. Yes. Well, maybe they will come out and fall into the pit. I mean, what if... Um... <laughs> so, like, we, we should just... Let's open the door and see what we're dealing with, I guess. I I would like to open the door. All right. You open the door, and you see um, several torches on the other side of it sputtering and smoking due to the large amount of humidity in this place. But okay. the floor below you, past that door, seems to be okay. Okay, can I land just beyond the door? Yeah, let me go ahead and reveal that area to you. So looking out that first okay. hallway. Are you going to look any further than that? Are you going to wait there? Uh, not not until more people are across. Okay. So are you landing on the safe end of that? Yes. Right. Cool. Um, Flint would uh, probably say before going across, he'd be like, um, I don't I don't necessarily have the best arm strength. Can somebody watch me? Make sure I'm okay. Yeah. Uh, Sega can Sega can do his best. He's a little nervous about trying to do this because he knows he is not very strong. Um, you could turn into something that's pretty strong, though. Well, and that's what I've been thinking of, but then I'd leave Flint by himself. What if you turn into something large that can just kind of step over a five-foot pit? I mean, it would still be slippery. Or you could just... Oh. Can you not turn into, like, a gorilla or something? I thought about being a spider. Then I could just go on the ceiling. What about what about Ooh. a gorilla? Um, gorilla would be too heavy well, to hang from the rope, probably. Yeah, yeah, that's also a problem. Like, that's pretty big. I, I, should, could... I, I shouldn't be helping you guys like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wait. Karen, we wait. appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, that's just, that's just thinking brain. I mean, I... If somebody falls, it's not going to be pleasant, but I can help. I could also just kind of hang out next to the pit as people cross to try to catch them. It's true, but if you can't... But we are, you already tried to catch Flint once, and that didn't go well. I can one of, one of my cantrips is lightning lure, and if they fail a sink strength uh, saving throw, they're pulled to me ten feet. They can choose to fail too, but does it do damage to them? Yeah, okay. yes, it would do one d eight of lightning damage. Okay. But it's better than falling into a pit and dying. So yeah, you don't you don't know exactly what's in the pit. So and with it's within like fifteen feet. Is too. Couldn't we hook him up to the ropes that way, like he is secured as well? Yeah, we and could use slip, the climbing stuff. He would just be hanging. 
So if we took another piece of rope and just... So literally what we did on the mountain, but sideways. <laughs> yeah. Sideways. Or Flint, you know? Yeah. Sideways Flint. climbing happens. Sideways climbing happens. Yes, it does. Yes, uh, it sucks. Flint, Flint could try and do that. And set that up for himself. He's kind of like strapped up in this stuff. He kind of looks up. He's like... Yeah, all all our dexterous people decided to leave. <laughs> I send Aldra over and like inspect his gear. Make me an investigation make sure check. It's it's good. Oh, that's the bad dice. We're gonna use the good dice. I'm holding on to the rope, I could crawl back. Fifteen. Uh, Fifteen. Um, it doesn't look great. Can okay? Can, can look look great. back over? Okay. I, I mean, Sika, Sika can kind of try. Well, yeah, Sika can try to help him, like tie everything a little bit tighter and make sure he's all like good. Yeah. So you go ahead and oh, he wouldn't do that again. Still watching oh, yeah, this. That's, that's much better with the help. So oh. and, it, and it like it looks good. Calvio it, thinks this looks good. Yeah, it looks it looks good. Okay. okay. If Calvio says it looks good. Then Marsica will trust him, and she'll. Uh, I mean, it's not like we did it, but it it'll it'll work. Right. Is okay. Sega going to go next, or are you gonna have Flint go next? I'm gonna want Flint to go next. Um, somebody needs to help Fang. Um. Yeah, Kikira. I was gonna ask you if you wouldn't mind carrying Fang over. How much does Fang weigh? Uh, like... Much, just look up how much a wolf weighs. Uh-huh. Like a big wolf. A big wolf. <laughs> big wolf. Big wolf. Um, is there anything you guys want to do, else to do to help Flint get across before he makes his attempts? I... Yes. So... I'll also give him guidance. It's probably somewhere between... It's right? over 100 pounds. Things probably around one six, well, probably one sixty to one eighty pounds, to be completely honest, because he's kind of large. I say that's going to be real hard to do while flying. If I leave mm. my bag, would it be better? You know what, Marsica might have to climb back anyway. So she, she, she never jumped off, so I can go all the way back. I mean, Calvio is still here too, so. Oh, it's my dog. I'm not saying I'll go. I'm saying I don't mind staying here to help. Mm. So, um, is Flint going before Fang, or are you going back to get Fang? Hold on. I, I Give me, like, ten, ten seconds to think about okay. this. Um, so, so, Flint will go first, then, as you guys are thinking about this, then. If... Unless... Okay. Uh, well, how much... Mm. Oh, this is so much space. How much space is this? Like five. The hall is twenty feet wide. What are you trying to do? Feet? I was just trying to see how much like space is between the two pits, essentially. Um. Was that like fifty? Yeah, fifty, fifty-five, feet? around there. Okay. Um, how, <laughs> I don't even know if this would work. Okay, so if Sika did change into a spider mm -hmm. and had his webbing, how much webbing, like, would that, uh, how much webbing could he use, potentially? How, what kind of spider? Is it small spider, big spider? Big spider. Big spider? Um, what are you trying to do with the webbing? Then I can kind of say <laughs> you would have enough. Uh, I was just trying to make it where maybe the webbing on the floor would ha make some grip, potentially, if 
like so, someone f if like Flint fell or something like that. Yeah, you could totally or, yeah. do something like that. You'd have enough space um, to cover at least one of the pits, and then you could wait a little bit to do the other pit uh, until it recharges. Um, and yeah, you'd have more than enough webbing to do that. Um, but to the where problem. He could, like, Walk yeah. Across. The problem is, is only covered that it would probably only cover that spot in the middle where the rope is on each of mm -hmm. those webbings, unless you want to take like I don't know, ten minutes to go through and web up that whole deal. Um, but then if he does fall, he has the opposite problem. He gets stuck in the webbing. And, and stuck in the webbing. Up. That's so, what I was thinking. You know. So it's it's it's, it's strong webbing. Yeah. Still it's better a, it's than a, death. It's, it's it's still it's you're unsure of what's in the pit. That's fair. I was also just trying to think for Fang, too. Actually, with with you guys both crossing it and with your passive perceptions, you would have seen at the bottom of these pits, there it is just covered in shards of metal. Old, Ooh. rusted metal. Everyone's gonna get tetanus. Probably shot. <laughs> Um, oh, like a thing <laughs> right out of the saw. Um, that is what is in those pits. Death. Uh, Much death. bad. But, okay. And it's sad, so, even my, even a frog can't jump that far. I am yeah. sad. No super jumping frogs. <laughs> so, um, are you gonna allow Flint to try, or? Um, shoot. Mm. Uh, secondary question real quick before I get too far into this train of thought mm -hmm. if I was a giant spider would I be able to fit through the next door uh, you're large correct <laughs> yes. barely but then the hallway barely. is like from what Kikira has described you would probably be pretty squished getting through the hallway <laughs> that sounds terrifying <laughs> Just a big old spider <laughs> trying to get through the hallway. Yeah. Um, okay, I I have I have a backup plan, so it's fine. Um, I not that it's a bad idea. I just caution us from using a lot of resources for a, a trivial thing like this. No. I know that's what I was thinking. Um. I can I can okay. still come back. I, I should be okay. Okay. Well, we're just gonna <laughs> hope that no one dies. Um... Let me check. Oh, Let me shoot. check something on his character sheet. Can I just, if you're okay with it, Sega, I think I think I'll just climb back, and then I can double check everything, and I can get Fang set up. And the next group can go over. I'm really interested to see how you're going to get Fang across. <laughs> Are you okay with that, Courtney? Very carefully. Uh, I, I mean, I can't stop you. So yeah, if that's what you're doing, <laughs> you make your way yeah. back. Yeah, I'm just going to make my way back. Is Calvio stand, staying by the pole and holding on? Yeah, I'm going to stand by the pole. Okay. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and make me the first athletics check crossing. Uh, seventeen. You're fine. Second one. Uh, 14. 14? You're fine. Um, okay. If it was acrobatics, I wouldn't be as worried. <laughs> me, me? Yeah. My strength, well, luckily I have something that so. helps a little. Okay, anyway. Um, now, on your way back, so now that I'm back, can I look at, not since I'm with Flint up close and I can see everything, can I... Just make sure he's got his harness set his, good. And his harness looks good. From what, okay. Yeah. You what don't about the like, it looks good. The knot for the the rope and everything. That's good yeah. too. Yeah, the okay. knot for the rope so... in the in the deal. It looks like it's moved and set it a little bit. You think maybe with too much weight on it, if too much was hanging, it may but I don't like that. That's not okay. That's not acceptable. So can I make that better? <laughs> or is it's, it just... Considering the situation, it's probably as good as it's going to get. But well, they, okay. you, you get, like, a, there's a certain amount of weight 
that I mean with anything like that if too much weight is put on it it's gonna okay. come undone fair enough um can is Sega ready to go Flint, Flint's ready to go if you guys want him to go or whoever else I want him to go but I also want a buddy behind him uh like Calvio and I did yeah Yep, Sega's just gonna go for it. All right, okay. Sega. He's gonna want to look out for Flint. How are you going? Um, I mean, he's Sega's not gonna change in in, in it in blah, 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 into anything. Okay. So he's just gonna follow behind, just like um, Calvio and Marska. Yeah, go ahead and make me an athletics check as you cross the first <laughs> the first pit. Would Flint be in front of you or behind you? Sure. Do you want Flint? I, I was assuming that Flint was waiting. Do you want Flint going shortly nearby? Oh, I, I, I figured Flint, Flint was going to go first. Yeah, okay. that's so probably would follow. Flint going first. Um, since he the first roll he did was a three and his strength is a plus one, so that was a four, even with the guidance. But with the harness... That gives him advantage on there, and it keeps him from falling. So he gets across the first deal just fine. Good. Um, you notice, like, even with Flint holding it, you can tell since he weighs so much, it's straining on that rope. But you guys did so well putting the pitten in, it doesn't seem to come out. Okay. Okay, this yeah, time. we could probably get people off as soon as they get to the other side then, too, before I climb over with Bang. Um, Flint's going on his second one. Sega, go ahead and make your first. And then Flint is fine, gets across the second one. He's now nearby Calvio, like, holding on to the rope. 16 for the 16. first one. Your 16 for the first one's good. Go ahead and okay. make your roll for the second one. <laughs> I only have a minus one to athletics. This is fine. I'm not terrified. Okay. That was a nine. Below ten. I know. Um, but It was a ten. Not. <laughs> oh, no. But not below eight, which is the DC. Oh, um, God. So, yeah, it's only, it's, it's only a five foot gap there. So you basically just have to oh, hold on to it. I should be able to, like, step across. over it. Yeah, since you're so big. <laughs> You're practically fine, but um, <laughs> but in combination of the slipping and all that stuff, right? Um, yep. mm -hmm. So you get across, and now you have Calvio, Flint, and Sega all holding on to the rope. Uh, let's go ahead and place you guys where you would be here. Why is this not working? Oh, that's why. So uh, people need to go to the the thing, yeah, the hallway. Um. Can, I didn't think, of think a good about way to this do this before. Uh, and then, so where's Sega gonna be at? Oh, here. Sorry. Uh, has Calvi has Calvio and Flint moved? You're gonna uh, stay out can. here in case because I can yank people. Okay. Yeah, Flint, Flint will um, move back one, so you can hold on to the pole. Still. Uh, okay. Okay. Sega move would people have, into the like, hallway. Yeah, yes. Sika would have wanted to go to the hallway. So? Can... To... Okay, so he would have... Hold on. Let me see if I can describe this. So he would have held on to the pole. Can Sika technically, like, use the claws on his feet to get a little bit better grip to take, like, the two steps inside the door? Not, or does that not work? Not really. Not quite? With this. It would okay. take a lot of time to be able to get that traction. It's like... You know when a cat has the claws and it's a really slippery surface? That's what it would be like. Can not, okay. not enough Kira, to matter. Can Kakira okay. hold on to, like, the door frame and reach an arm out just Wh to try to Which help, way does the like, door open? Them? It opens the in door... towards the hall. Oh, okay. Shit. okay. Can I, like, jump in? Um, like, five feet. So, with... Let me look Like, here. lean and jump with Kakira? <laughs> you, would need, you would need one foot of movement since kakira is there i'll allow you advantage on the dexterity check to to <laughs> head out i help awesome since because she has to hold on to something too to help okay so just a pure dexterity yep. roll uh so it'd be let's do dexterity saving throw 
With advantage? With advantage. Ha <laughs> That's a 17. 17. You're totally fine. The other You're one good. was a 3. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That would have been bad. Yep. Our advantage. So, Sega is now in the hallway. Yeah. And now Sega can help people because Sega has longer arms. Yep. So mechanically, Sega it's still is not athletic. Yeah. Same. Mechanically, it's still providing the help action, so that gives them advantage, basically. So right. it doesn't change the mechanics of it, but get double help. And double having two people help also doesn't change yeah. anything. Um, right. <laughs> yeah. Sadly. So Flint is going to take his deal there. He's going to do with advantage. Um. Oh yeah, that with a with a natural twenty and an eighteen, he's totally fine. You guys nice. helping him across? Um, he kind of like Ooh. almost gets on his butt and slides towards you guys <laughs> and pushes <laughs> off of the pole and grabs That's your hilarious. arms and you guys pull him in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, um, Marsica, how are you taking Fang across? <laughs> Very uh, carefully. Very carefully is the answer. Um, okay. Zip line him. So, well, like, basically, yeah. To do so, though, I was gonna, I'm gonna need harnesses. And the question that I have is, would Marsica have all the harnesses on her, or would everybody have their own harness? I assume I mean, I you guys can... have one. Yeah, you'd have one, at least. Um, yeah. I was assuming Flint one. has to have one, because he used it to get across. Right. And then Calvi would have one. So that's three. And then uh, the fourth one, I'm assuming I, I'm assuming Sega had his own. So, so okay, so one. I'll put I'll MacGyver my harness onto the front of Bang in such a way that it looks secure on him. Okay. Um, How... But I, I I do worry for him to travel safely. He would need a second one because he's long, you know? Mm -hmm. He's not like a person where we're not humanoid. Yep. So then I would probably ask Kira if she could fly over to me and bring me a harness. Sure. Sure. Yeah, I can that's, make that that's, happen. That's totally feasible. Okay, like so assuming Kakira brings me a second harness, then I would secure that around his backside, <laughs> so he has two harnesses with like the the tie end point. I guess would be on the top of him. Okay, and then I would put. Do I? What would I have? I mean, that I you have you have good survival, so I'm. You don't need to roll for this. Flint needed to roll for it because he does not have good survival. So I'm. I'm not even going to require you to roll for the survivals on this. Okay. <laughs> um, I just want to watch Fang zip line across this room. <laughs> That's all I want to watch right now. <laughs> like a, a cooking pot or something. Um, like from my adventuring gear that I would kind of secure to hold him onto the rope so I can just kind of slide him across <laughs> as I'm climbing across. So he's just hanging. This is incredible. And I just push him and then I climb some more right. and then I push him. So you are currently pushing Fang and climbing. Um, yeah. How much do you weigh and how much does Fang weigh? Fang, so Fang's going to weigh, weigh somewhere around 160 to 180 pounds. Um, Marsica, I believe, Plus, weighs one hundred and forty pounds. So that breaks that breaks three hundred, right? Yes. Like that. Um, yeah. So since Flint's come across, and since now Fang is now kind of sort of like dangling in the air with these, and he's not supporting himself, you're sort of supporting yourself with that. Um, okay. okay. See if it holds. Oh dear. Does the rope look okay? Okay, you watch as you get, so go ahead and make me an athletics check for the first one as you're pushing Fang across. DC 8. Well, um, magic power, that was an 8. <laughs> that was an 8. Cool. Cutting it by the skin of your teeth. You almost like your ankle slips off at the edge of the pit and you 
quickly get to the other side with your other foot. And in this jerking motion, you feel the rope slacken ever so slightly as the pitten just goes and moves at the back. I'm gonna need to move a little bit faster. <laughs> so, getting across, there's more strain on the pitten. You get to the second pit. Okay. Uh, Kakira is gonna be flying nearby. Okay. Since she went over there with the harness, she's gonna kind of like stay nearby them as they move across. Okay. This one's a fifteen. Fifteen. You're totally fine. The pitten. You get to the other end. You watch as you you push Fang, and right as. He and you get to the pole. You watch as the pitten bink, falls out, and so but you're grabbing on and holding on. But Fang does not is is having a really hard time moving with this. So go ahead Can and make I... me a dexterity saving throw for Fang. Let's see, is this? Uh, uh... He, he can do it with advantage since you're right there and he's attached to the rope. It's not right, because like I, I, like... I would try to grab them too. Yeah. Uh, what is dexterity? dexterity is that what you said? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's a fifteen. Fifteen is the DC. Oh, so. oh. Don't bite the skin of my teeth this time. Yeah, don't bite the skin of your teeth. You get there. And he kind of gathers himself, and he's like, he stops, and you manage to stop him from moving. And he's kind of like, so you've got Calvio, Fang, and Marsica all standing on this frictionless surface and holding on to this pole. How are you guys getting to the door? Um, uh, can, I... Ka can Kakira... So the pitten came out of the wall. Yep. Can Kakira grab the pitten... And fly into the hallway and just pull the rope tight because it's still tied to the pole. Yeah. So it's just moving from that. across the room into the hallway yeah. now. And if you do that, pulling the rope tight, then they don't even need to make checks to get out. That's the rope to get out. Nice. Yeah. 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 Excellent. Nice job. <laughs> we did it, guys. <laughs> By the skin of our teeth. A couple stressful <laughs> moments we in there. We did it. Go ahead and move you guys. Close only the counts. Horseshoes and hand grenades. We're fine. There you go. <laughs> All right. Let me go ahead and reveal this. So, as you guys go ahead and move yourself into the next hallway, go ahead and move uh, Marsica and Fang into the hallway as well. Oh, sorry. You're all good. I got this right. No worries. Oh, there we go. Ah! Canceled. <laughs> so, as you enter this hallway, pardon me, um, as you enter this hallway, looking to your right, there is a closed door. Looking to your left, you can't see too much as um, the torches so, uh, and what is your all's dark vision range not not okay uh, 60 feet 60 feet so you just see in this room if you guys don't move farther down the hallway this room is just dark at the moment but you feel like you hear the sounds of water lapping at the edge of something. From, from, so we were hearing that from like this direction? The, the left, yes, correct. If you're looking at the wall, it is down. Okay. It, can I send Aldra to the left? Of course. What does Aldra see? So. Uh, how far are you sending Aldra? The full 100 feet? Yeah. Okay. Doop, doop, doop. Oh, reveal areas. Polygon reveal. 
Um, Aldra has a very interesting sight in front of her. <laughs> oh, 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 what the oh. fuck? Um, before Aldra, you, she looks down and looking out and down into this enormous chamber defined by these terraced steps leading down that ring the entire area and descend towards a central enclosure. A few feet south of the door, water laps at the edge of the stone floor. Looking to the side, you can see that the ring uh, of the terrace that lies beyond is a 10 foot deep ring of water held in by a nearly transparent wall. Another of these watery steps in the terrace is somewhat lower than the first and at the level in between these aquariums, the terrace steps are dry, but the area is still enclosed by a glassy wall like the others. So, for further clarification, this first level here that Aldra sees is open. There is, this is, this level of water is uh, level with the floor. There is no glass protecting in that. Um, and Aldra sees uh, several eyes just looking out of the water. Farther down, this terrace is encased in glass and so forth is this one. But the one at the bottom, you see, she would see three uh, wing-tipped manticores at the bottom. Like, the tops of all of these are open, right? Are, yeah, the tops of each of them are open. So, oh, good! Uh, as Aldra comes to the edge into the room, where are we at here? The giant toad, seeing the first bite to eat in a minute um is going to try and quickly is okay go for it what are you gonna say uh is she is this an opportunity attack or is it him just like straight up like it's it's a surprise attack because aldra was not expecting this coming in so it's not an opportunity but okay yeah um what's aldra's ac yes Yes. 11. 11. Um, so the toad rolled a 10. So it just misses Aldra. She quickly flies out of the way. Can I just immediately her snap her back? Yeah, of course. Uh, well, Calvio would come back after leaning on Sega's shoulder. Another point I forgot to mention, at the very bottom ring, Aldra would have been able to see a door. The very bottom. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> what? So, um, that room's bumping. Like, fuck that. <laughs> Well, how, um, yeah, but if that's Flint would speak up and oh. say, um, uh, "Well, how do we know where this this guardian spark is that we seek?" Uh, we don't. We don't. It would be smart to assume that it would probably be in a well protected room as well. That's fair point. Calvio would look at Sika and say, uh, how do you feel about talking to manticores? Sika would know manticores Sika. are monstrosities and don't necessarily speak to druids, but everything else in that room might. Yeah. yeah. And that's kind of what I'd end up relaying. I'd, Sika would probably be like, 
I don't know what if they're the um, talkative type. Well, there's three. Being a ranger. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I do have speak with animals and a really good animal handling skill, you know. Just well, saying. The toads are hungry. We have any flies? <laughs> I'm just gonna throw that out there. Um are these like about the same size as the toads that we saw by the lake? They they seem to be about that size, yeah. No. Nope. Not as fat yeah, more, because more of the your... ones by the lake probably eat better. But no. they're they're like skinny versions of, the, of your friends. Okay. And they're hungry. And they're hungry. Okay. Which is probably why they're skinny. What what else is um in the room? Um You said the scorpions? Yep, there were giant scorpions. Yeah. Um, giant scorpions, and Aldra then what are the seen, other ones? Aldra would have seen this really strange-looking sea creature peer out of the water on the terrace to the second down. It looked like, if you would know better, looking through Aldra, it's definitely a sea creature, but it seemed to have the head of a lion. I would tell this to Siga. Would Siga know what that is? Make me a nature check. Oh, no, Siga knows what this is. A 19. 19, Ooh. nice. Um, so when the flash happened and the radiation spread across the land, some of these creatures were malformed and found their way to other environments and made their home there and adapted quickly due to the radiation this is colloquially known as a sea lion <laughs> that's fantastic <laughs> i love it Trixie. Trixie. well done sir a plus i can't take credit um, for that well, whoever did it, well yep. done to them. Well done to you for using their work. Yep. <laughs> so, Zika would relay this information. Being like, it's like a, like a sea lion, but in a more literal sense. <laughs> like, um... That makes sense. Okay. <laughs> um... She is going to ultimately come back to that. I don't know if any of those animals sound intelligent enough to be able to actually okay. communicate with them. <laughs> well, and even if they were, they're probably really hungry. Yeah. Um, we, we happen to have a buddy who likes food a lot and might be willing to share because he probably has a lot of rations. Well, even still, we have the issue of the manticore. So, just so I'm understanding this, mm -hmm. the entire top of this is open. It's open. Each level has an open top. And so it's like open top, so stones mm -hmm. with water level. Yep. And then there's glass. There's glass that holding the water the in. water level from the desert level. And that desert Which level has the scorpions. Yeah. And it's, and it's, it, it's further in the top. Yep. And lower. And right then lower. the water is level with that top. No. Correct? So, so this level is lower than this level. Okay. So this level oh, is lower than this okay. level. And then this level is the lowest. It's like a okay. reverse pyramid. Exactly. It's a reverse zero. Got it. Okay. 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 Got you. I'm, I'm with you now. Okay. Um. When we even get down there. So theoretically, I can get down there. Theoretically, this is just a theory. We only have to deal with the frogs, and however we choose to deal with frogs, probably throw food at them, they're fine. And the manticore. 
Theoretically. Why not the Scorpion? Because they're locked into their level. And we don't have to well, go to that level. They, they because the door is open... in the mid-level. No, the door is at the very bottom level. It's yeah, the, the, the door is at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. But so we, we could... We don't have to deal with the Scorpions because they're trapped in there. And as long as we don't go in there, they're not going to futz with us because they're not going to magically get out. Otherwise, they would have already. The, the glass is open at top. The glass is high enough that they can't climb out of it. Okay. Yeah, so right. yeah, they're stuck in there. Yeah. So And there isn't, like, a doorway, hallway thing that allows us to pass through each level. No. So, hardcore, but... hardcore through animals, I see. We also have a second door, and I, I, I kind of like to see be. what's on the other side of that door because it's really close. But it also it's might really be something cool. potentially helpful. I say this very cautiously. Can I <laughs> cast Mage Hand and open that door because it is within thirty feet? Of course. And like peek around the corner. Mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and open this area. Looky just looky. in case, and, and like in a sneaky way, just in case there are people in the room. Yeah. So you push the door open with a quiet creak. And as looking through it, water not only flows through this room, it seems to float. Entering That's cool. Entering a hole in the western wall, two feet off the floor, is a stream seemingly suspended in mid-air. It flows out of another hole near the northeastern corner. The water is about three feet deep. You can see a few blind cavefish being carried along the brisk current. On oh, either cool. side of the door, looking in, are a total of six kayaks, each able to carry two riders, but there are no paddles to be found. Bum, bum, bum. So the current is what we would be riding along if we did if we went that way. It's probably strong enough to push the boat. Would be my assumption. Also, how long has it been since? Has it been more than an hour since our first um, fight? Like when we walked over that water pit. I would say it's been about it's been about forty five minutes to an hour. So I'd say the the inspiration would probably be done. The oh, it was more of a walk. yeah. I was asking about for the water walk because it lasts the for up walk. to an hour, and you'd, so if we had a few minutes, you'd be just to nearing the edge of it, and you see like you could probably stand on the top of it, but that water's moving fast. Okay, would it? Well, it says across any liquid surface as if it were harmless and solid ground. So then would it be like the water would be moving under your feet kind of deal? Yeah, the water would be moving under the feet, and you could, you could walk on top of it, and those with water walk if you guys acted quickly. Yeah. I mean, we could at least go and see what's around the corner if we wanted to go that way for the next couple minutes. Seems like a good get, option. I just don't want to get stuck on the other side of the corner with a current that's going to rip us away. Yeah. Well, that's why you just like go over there, peek around the corner, and then come back and get off the water. Just see what's what's there, but don't really go in too far. We could also use this to walk over the water in the other room and get to the manticores and fuck their shit. In like, so would you say it's been like forty-five minutes, so that I'd we have like a fifteen-minute fi window? Fifty minutes. You've okay, got a 10 so ten-minute window. window. Because if we go the other way, there's no guarantee that we're going to be able to deal with everything within 10 minutes. No. Right. That's true. Combat happens also a lot faster than you think, too. It's, it's like six seconds around. Right. So. Um. Ooh, hold on. I have another thought. <laughs> I am not prepared. <laughs> All good. Uh, Flint's going to look at his character sheet. See if there's anything he can do to help. 
I can do not much about all this. I just wonder why. <laughs> um, Sika knows currently pass without a trace. Okay. I don't know if this would work. Um, but <clears throat> does it work in the sense that like you can just? Hmm. It just says a veil of shadows and silence irradiates from you and masking you. So is it like invisibility, or do you still have to, like, stay hidden kind of deal? You have to stay hidden. You have to have, like, things to hide behind and move through. It makes it harder for things. But, like, imagine if you are these animals in this space, and then all of a sudden this um, wreath of shadows comes through. Oh, okay, that's weird. <laughs> that's fair. I was wondering how that works. Um, so how far how deep is the lo the lowest section looking down that is it's impeding this so the lowest section would be 40 feet to the bottom oh that's yeah, a long way feet. down. Yeah, 40 feet down down to the very bottom. Each tier what? is 10 feet. What if we there's could... also nothing useful behind that door? We could zip line down there if we needed to. We could. Kind of. Well, it, if it we sounds think like it's a pretty steep way down, and if we went from you know the wall and then tied the other end to the opposite end of the lowest thing that would give us enough space to zip line down without hitting anything probably the only issue are the creatures that would prevent us from securing said rope down there i feel like the only ones that would be an issue are the manticores because the other ones are behind glass sega make me a nature check I was gonna say the it seems like the sea lions in the water could potentially jump up out of the water. <clears throat> That's a dirty twenty. The sea lions would probably at the sight of seeing meat coming down a zip line, they might jump out of the water. Yeah. Do that. It's it's a solid idea, but it's a risk. Yeah. It seems very sure. risky. Even the, like, walking on top of the water would be risky because, uh, like, we would have to run across that water and just hope to God that they aren't faster than we are. <laughs> it's, only, it's only 10 feet. It's only 10 feet. feet. I mean, yeah, but they're so also... With, like, fans. potentially with a distraction and the zip line, it might be possible. Like, if we distract them to the end that the people aren't ziplining over, they wouldn't yeah. have enough time to go all the way back and try yeah. to catch them. Uh, can't manticores fly? So as soon as they got their attention... Well, we'd have to deal with those first. <laughs> the manticores are wing-clipped. These manticores don't seem to be able to fly. Or else That's they why they're out. stuck in the pit. Okay, uh, that makes a lot more sense now. Uh, Marsica, okay. make me a history check. Um, 15. 15. Um, you would know that coming through, like, every once in a while, a manticore will make its way into the forest and hole up in an area. They can speak. They have human heads, and as they open them, there are rows of razor-sharp teeth, but they can speak common. Interesting. They're not very Weird. nice things. They're not very nice, and they are very likely to try and take your head off. But they can't speak common. She would relay this to the group. Uh, 
I mean, knowing what she knows about manticores, if they're hungry, will she be able to persuade them from eating us? I mean, we could offer them food that's not us. This is true. It'd have to be a lot of food. More than like what we are. They'd be happy with something. <laughs> and if we talk to them, maybe we could convince them. Flint... Uh, are they semi, are they intelligent or I mean they speak so I assume they at least they have, have, to, they, like, mechanic they have, they at least have an intelligence of six at the very could Flint play a lullaby and make them fall asleep huh. um I can certainly try would that put everything in the room to sleep that would be a pretty damn good lullaby. <laughs> you can try it. <laughs> I mean, Flint he, is quite the yeah. musician. Flint Flint would say, um, well, I, uh, I can cast sleep at uh, some of these things. It's in a small radius, but if we get some of them bunched up, I might be able to put some of them to sleep. I think or, the biggest one that we'd want to get put to sleep are the manticores. I don't think the spell's powerful enough for them. I see. Mm. But that so, could still come in handy if we're dead oh, wow. set to this room. Conjure animals as an offering. <laughs> Those face oh, spirits that you conjure again would be pissed at you. Yeah, no. I wouldn't actually do that. <laughs> yeah. But there was a part of my brain that was like, what if you got your ghost? Um, <laughs> I, I might be able to satiate those toads. The scorpions, I don't know exactly what they eat, or the, uh, the sea lions. That's, uh, it's a little scary. Um, um, we offer. We feed the toad to the manticores. <laughs> yeah. Aww. If 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 someone could hit the glass, I don't know if I like that very much, but it's it's a possibility. Counter oh, counter offer. We just take our little boats down the river and see what lies in that direction. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that one seems like the safest option currently. <laughs> I knew I'd get Kakira on my side. <laughs> um, well, we see what that's there, but, uh, what could be down that, the hallway with the floating river? That, that's not natural, that. Do we still have walking on water at this point? Uh, you guys, it's about maybe four minutes left with the talking. I mean, if someone wanted to walk over, the, like, or not walk, run over there and look around the corner and come back, I guess they could. Can Marsica do that? Are you gonna go? Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I'll run over there, I'll peek around the corner, and I'll run back. So, uh, running into the water? Uh, walking or on top of the water. Walking, yeah, yeah, walking on top of it. How far are you gonna go? I, I just want to peek around the corner, so, so like... Peeking around you know. the corner areas you would see dude come on polygon reveal dude 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 about that far okay and then she'd run back <laughs> yep and you would watch as time. as soon as oh about the other side looking through she would probably see about that far oh god uh oh okay uh, i see yeah not far um but, what was I going to say? Um, as soon as... Uh, as soon as you're getting off of it, your foot kind of like steps through the water and you land onto the floor. But, oh. you're safe. Nice. So I tell them what I saw, which is apparently basically just river and we don't know where it leads. And why it's floating just in the room. Right, yeah. So how the glass? How how thick is the glass? The glass? 
and back to the room. <laughs> Look, if there's a bunch of shit in this room, there's a reason. Yeah, I agree with Calvio. <laughs> the glass. I like to think it's just Aaron's new way of look over here. <laughs> is about um, maybe I'd say four inches thick from what you can see. Oh, two, two to four. That's, that's so like thick glass. able to is jump it? on it. Yeah, you can jump on it. It's also okay. it also seems like it's able to be broken. Has been sitting there for a hot minute. I mean, we could flood the lower tiers, some of them. And I then... don't know how scorpions deal with water. And then not be able to get in the door. Ah, uh, that would definitely be an entertaining venture. Well, we wouldn't um, have to break all of the glass. We could get. Just the desert. You might make, deal with the scorpions. Make me a perception a check with effect. disadvantage with Ultra for when she was in that room because she had to move away real fast. Just with disadvantage. With disadvantage because oh, of because of the circumstances. Oh, perception. Uh. So she has advantage when it comes to hearing or sight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's. So is it just actually. regular? Yeah. It's okay. Straight I should probably remember that more often. <laughs> Ooh! Uh, 22! Ultra would have seen... A piece of candy! A, oh my god. Well, it is a small glint. At the very bottom, about 40 feet down, there seems to be small glints of metal. There's probably a drain down there. So if glass did break, it would all drain... You're not, At sure the bottom. How, you're not sure how fast, but there is a drain. So we could theoretically flood oh, all the water. red creatures out, let them drown, and then just have to deal with the sea creep, the sea lions. Whoever's or left. Which other. would not have any water. Huh? Which would eventually not have any water. Yeah. Which would so, end up drowning. And the drains are there, but they're not obviously not draining currently. I mean, the bottom doesn't have water in yeah, it. Yeah, bottom that's doesn't where the have drain any water. Was. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. Yeah, the manticores. That's where the manticores are. So we could quite literally flood the middle and then just wait and then go through. Okay. That's um. Okay. But it's four inch thick glass. I don't think well. Risk of Zeros can go through four inch thick glass. Yeah, I was going to. Maybe with enough prodding. But put a guiding bolt. I, somebody literally has a spell shatter? called shatter. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, right. That's right, right. Thank you. I forgot about that. Michael would not have. <laughs> Michael's not. Yeah. Here. Uh, Flint would pipe up at this point and goes, "Oh, sorry. I was thinking about food. Um, <laughs> I could cast shatter at the glass." Which one would the you ins like? The inside glass. Like, correct? Because we're trying to deal bottom? with the sea lions and the man's cores. Correct. Um, how, how big is Shatter? It's a 20-foot cube, so it's not a, not a big space, but let me oh, check so, the Oh, so it could get, like, two panes of glass, potentially. Yeah, but that's oh, it could get all the glass. Flooding it. Yeah. It could just punch a hole through all of it. Yeah, through... Potentially. Yeah. Uh... Let me How far away can he cast it? That's what I'm checking right now. 60 feet. Oh. So, with that, that, that would be... It could be very viable. Yeah, that's definitely a possibility. But the problem is... Here's the problem. And this only matters if it doesn't work. He can only do it on this side. Well, right. I guess we can move over. Because he can't go... I'm just saying, from safety, if we're here in the doorway, which would be the safest place... He could get the glass. He only has to yeah. be able to put it here. He has to be able to see it, though. Right he in the middle. He wouldn't be able to see this one. Right, but if, it. the issue is if it doesn't completely shatter it and it, like, cracks it and we have to hit it again, we can't see it. And he has to use another spell slot. Like, I can't cast Firebolt at this thing over and over until it breaks. 
But That's if it problem. cracked, Marsica might be able to... Yeah. But she can't see it. We have to go in the room. Uh... Um... I'm trying to do it while we stay from the safety of the I hallway. Can, I can give it a shot and see where it is, that bottom pane you're trying yeah, to get Yeah, let's just see what happens. Flooded. I mean... I mean, Shatter tore down a wooden log wall when we're fighting yeah, the orcs. Yeah, alright. Yeah, it let's does, see what how, happens. How is Glass gonna It does, it does double that. damage to inorganic material. Oh! Fuck it! Do, do that, that shit. shit! Yeah. So... We're about to piss off a lot of creatures. Yep. Yeah. And they're all Flint. gonna die. Flint is going to move. Is anybody going to go with Flint? Yes. To the edge. Yeah. Right there. Watching. Watching out. He's gonna take a Shaka. look. And he is back. going to cast Shatter at the bottom pane of glass to shatter that. That is more than enough damage you watch as flint lets loose his spell and um the pane of glass at the bottom just <laughs> shatters at the bottom and water is currently flooding into the bottom level and the sea lions quickly looking around are going to the breach and as you watch before long the seed lions and the manticores are going at it. Yes. They are currently fighting each other, and it is a bad time. So, so there are four sea lions and three manticores. There's four sea lions <laughs> and three manticores. Okay. And so, uh, how long are you guys going to stand there and wait? How fast is the water draining? Uh, make me perception check. Not that dice. This one. Oh, that's poopy. Ten. Ten? Alright. Uh, it doesn't seem to be draining terribly fast from where you can see. It's really hard to tell with the current situation. <laughs> Fair. <Railing. laughs> Alright. Um. I mean, ideally... Best case scenario, the sea lions kill the manticores and then drown. Who, who does it look like is winning? Um, let me look. Let me look at their stats here real quick to make sure. Um, and then this cat. He's so cute. He was behind like the tree thing and oh, we just watched yeah. him like boop, 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 yeah. out from it it was really <laughs> oh cute my God. Uh, you see as these sea lions uh it if you stand there and watch uh it takes probably about two minutes but the sea lions end up just tearing through these manticores and the man they're currently just like gorging at the bottom and eating them so we wait for the water Ow. to drain have the other animals reacted? Uh, they are this? definitely agitated. The scorpions are moving around um, a lot in their case, like looking down, wanting to get at the food, but they seem unable to. The toads are just unsure of what's happening and are just moving around. Oh no! Oh, oh no! no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> exactly. Definitely running jokes now. <laughs> So, uh, with that, not before long, a few minutes of watching and waiting, the manticores are picked off one by one, and one of the sea lions is killed. That. Okay. All right. Well, that's four less things to deal with. And we could just wait for the water to drain. Yep. And then we don't have any sea lions. So, do. hold on. But wait. Are the sea lions... Um, are they land breathers? Or are they? do they, they need to stay to in the water? They seem to be breathing just fine outside of the water. Okay. So then... We're still going to have... Aren't... Yeah. They aren't going to just die because they don't have water. Well, they might be They're injured. They're much slower. 
It's fair. They won't have their water behind them. Okay. Ooh. Um. Alright. They might be happy. Apparently gorging out at the bottom. The uh, scorpions are moving around. The toads are moving around. What are you guys doing? I think it might Mars be possible to sneak past the the sea lions now. They like getting think... like coma, food, mm -hmm. food coma. sleepy. They're probably <laughs> very full after eating mm -hmm. a manticore <laughs> each. The lions are basically just territorial. So, when they're not hungry. Hold on. So for the sea lions, are they like lion, like lion head and like lion front paws Let and me, then like fishy tail? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So it's a mermaid, but lion. But lion. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So like exactly. on the land, they would be more like our sea lions and that they'd be floppy and kind of slow. On. They'd have to like drag themselves Floppy's kind of deal. Let me, Sounds like let me show you. Oh, God. He's got a whole picture. I'm excited. They look like that. I'm excited. It's loaded. Where is that? It's, you... it's in the Discord chat. Oh. Okay. Discord. Okay. Ah, okay, yeah. Oh, those mm -hmm. look cool. Where in the Discord is it? RTA player in the chat. RTA player chat. Cool. Yeah, so not exactly the quickest what? things once they've been, once they're not in the water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Woo. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so we could sneak past them How are you slash haul ass. How are you gonna get down the first two tiers? That's still that's still forty feet down. We could do the zip line thing and just like book it through the door. Maybe we, if that's the only way out, though, I guess that's a problem we'll deal with later. Yeah. Do you want me we to go check it out tiny first? Tiny ass, like eight by eight room, and that's all there is. Can you, how, okay? How are we gonna get the zip line first? Um. Uh, okay. Where is this door located? The very Down here bottom. At the bottom. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I see it. It's actually there. Mm -hmm. yep. I actually yes. remember to put the door where it's supposed to be. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it looked like a wall, and I was really <laughs> zoomed out. So. I don't think shooting the stone with an arrow would secure a rope well enough. Um, could lie down there again, potentially. I would have to. Um, and if all the sea lions are kind of off away, it might take them some time to get to you. So you might have enough time to get in there, secure it, and fly out, or... If you can get me down there, I can guarantee you I can get in that room without them noticing. 100%. How much does Calvio weigh? Getting in that room. Uh, I don't know. Like, 170, 180 pounds? Oh, that's more than Fang. Yeah. I mean... That would be a struggle. Yeah. Average male human that's 5... 11, 5, 6 feet. Something like that. Yeah, so... 5... 180. Because he's not buff. 60. Yeah, but Kakira is a small bird. And I know... Burb. Because Patrick... I'm a, I'm a big, I'm a big burb, thank you very much. <laughs> it's burb. Yeah, but you're not but, yellow. But not the biggest burb. No, not the biggest burb. But I'm not a small burb. Yeah, with the strength of not 10, sparrow. Eric Hulker should be able to carry... About um, 150 pounds around. Uh, let me check. How much weight can an air caulker carry while carry while flying? 
Yeah, I, I'd say probably about 100 to 150 pounds, and it would slow your movement down by, like, to half to be able to carry that much while flying. Like, over 100 pounds is going to slow your movement to half. So, oh, because... 150. Okay, question. If Figa wild shapes into something that can fit in a pocket and I cast invisibility is it like if she's a spooter is it gonna look like there's a spooter floating in the air yes because it's another Fuck. living thing but Shit. it's also a lot <laughs> smaller and it might be harder to notice fair depending on how big of a spider you want me to be Kira could definitely fly a spider or a smaller creature down, no problem. Yeah, but I was trying to... Well, she's got Pass Without a Trace. If she casts Pass Without a Trace, then Wild Shapes, does it stay? Yeah, it would stay. But the, the issue is um, there's not a whole lot of cover. So you'd get right. advantage on stealth checks and things like that, but you're banking real heavily on those sea lions not noticing you because they're hungry, or because they're all full. And then what's going on? How are you getting past the the toads I and then the giant scorpion? Also, uh, it's only a twenty foot radius, but I have fog cloud as well. Hey. hey. That's good. 13, 15, 20. That okay, so like the side with the lines. door, you could put fog down. Potentially. And they could, and then with past that a trace, if we all like zip line together down there into the fog, get in the door. Into the fog. Then our chances would be much greater. Assuming there's yeah, nothing evil so. on the other side of the door wanting to eat us. Besides the sea lions on this side of the door. Yes. And you better, like... Well, okay. That would... That would eat up one first level and one second level spell slot. For me. Is, is either so. of those, are both of them concentration? Is fog cloud concentration? Uh, fog is concentration. What about pass without a trace? Shit, they're both concentration. Yeah, damn it. <laughs> Do we need pass without a trace? Could we not? Could we fog the sea lions, zip line over their heads, and get in the door? That's a good one. Okay, okay, hang on. Kitty. How are we making the zip line? There is that. Somebody uh, this is all well and good, but how are we making the zip line? We could I can fly down there. Your piston into the wall, say here, and then somebody like Kakira would have to fly down there and secure another piston into the wall over here, and then we just whoop and then bop into the door. Uh, that's a lot of flying over sea lions. Well, I couldn't. I don't have to fly from here. I could come down here to the bottom of the room and, and then fly out. how long is your rope? Uh, oh. We have a 100-foot rope. Well, but it's two 50 feet that are, like, tied together, right? That's how you guys did it? Right? No, I think we had actually, like, a 100-foot rope. Did you go buy a 100-foot rope? Did we? You all, you so, start we, I, like, I have the so regular rope that we started climb with. the mountain. Yeah, I because you tied a bunch of 50 <laughs> feet ropes together. Yeah, we tied two 50 feet ropes. But you said that the, uh, the... We had a bunch of 50s and 25s, not 100s. Is that what it was? Yep. Yeah, I think 50s so. and 25s. Yep. So. Uh, we could still do that. We could take two of the ropes and tie them together, or if we still have that. Feet, yeah. You need about 100. Oh, no, no, we could do 50 feet. We don't We don't need. Look. Yeah. yeah. We could technically if we do, did tie two ropes tie together. together. And it would be 100 feet. Have any of you been ziplining before? No, we don't need to. We ha we can just use a 50-foot rope. Like, 50 yeah, feet gets us here. down there. Oh, no okay. Problem. Okay. All right. I was about to say, you don't want bumps in that line when you're ziplining. That's a bad day. You also don't want the angle to be so drastic, though, that you smack into the ground at the bottom. 
That's like ten feet of of lax. That's basically. a pretty uh, deep angle. Not gonna lie. You guys could try and climb down as opposed to using as a step a, a, a zip line, but there's oh, okay. so we the it's just though there's just like a hole in the glass, right? Like the glass on the other side is still there. Yeah. yeah. How tall up is the, how tall? How tall is the glass on the last part? So on this part, this glass wall is still standing, right? Yeah. Th this glass wall is still standing. It is ten feet. So how do I say this? Basically, what I'm trying to ask is, could Calvio parkour and jump on the glass on each level down? You d yeah, you can do that with an acrobatics check. And hope you don't mess it up. The is likelihood of me fucking that up is very low. if you low. fall, there's a scorpion. If acrobatics isn't your thing, Marsica could do that too. I'm not worried about the acrobatics. I'm also not worried about getting down there. They're not like, no, they're, no one's going to see me do this. They're just going to see floating rope. Ah. Unless I put it in my bag, and then they're not going to see anything. So how are we good doing this? I think Calvio is going to parkour. I can parkour down there. If we want to go to the other side, I can parkour down there. Maybe. I think that might be the smartest because it sounds like with the angle of zip lining from this side, that would be really, that would be too steep. We'd come crashing that down. That doesn't get everyone down there, though. Right. Um, Flint, there's no way Flint is parkouring no. down there. He just kind of like slaps his um, belly. Shakes his head. Um, well, I don't know. I'm, I'm at a we loss. Could, My brain is tired. I, I don't like the idea of it, but we could merely distract the beasts as we make our way down, or just... Uh, I don't like that. Never mind. <laughs> How would we distract... I just don't have anything to... I didn't prepare that today. The only thing... The only other thing Sega, like, potentially has up his sleeve is... You know, being able to conjure a couple more big animals to help us get down there. Distractions. We can either fight down, fight our way down there, or we can zip line and risk a really steep. You want me to see if it's even worth it? That could be a good idea. Okay. So nothing. let's just put the rope down so I can climb out. Okay. I'll go down there, see if it's even fucking worth it. If it's worth it, then we'll figure it out. Sure. Don't get to me. Okay. All right. So how are we? Uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm okay, casting wait. in. Oh, before what? you go. Um. Before Ziga you go. would have touched your shoulder and given you guidance. Woo! I come over to this side because you're gonna parkour from over here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I come here and just wait for him over here. So you, you guys will just see me like make a peace sign and then and he's gone because I cast invisibility. All right. Fine. Um, and then I'm gonna parkour down. All right. By the so... way, you can add that D4 before or after your ability check is made. Uh -huh. So jumping steps. to the next one. Jumping across the 10 feet, go ahead and make me an acrobatics check to get to this wall. Unless you're starting from the other side. Uh, I would assume, wait, like the other side of the room? Yeah, right? where which, which, which direction are you starting from? Oh, I thought we were all already over here. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Oh, oh I didn't know that either. Let's go ahead and I move just... you guys over there then. I just went over there when Calvio decided he was going to do the parkour thing, so that way I'd 
be in the oh. vicinity of where he'll come back out. I'm very dumb. I thought we were over there. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. I would have been over here and casted his visibility to go that way. Uh, I didn't see any of those pings. To go what I think way? I know what you meant. Down here. Okay. This way. Yeah. Cool. I'd be down here. I'd go here to here to here to here. All right. So okay. you're stepping up to the edge. Go ahead and make me an acrobatics check to get right here. These these creatures would be following you guys around the edge of, of course they fucking the would. Harry, by the way, because uh, Sega, go ahead and make me a nature check. Scorpions too. Scorpions too. Oh, following great! Yeah, they de they definitely be watching, and even I know that. Twenty three. Uh, these creatures act if they are fed. Like, why would they be alive? There must be something here that is feeding them, and then when they see people, they think they're getting fed. Oh. It's a... Moving around. That yeah. makes a lot of sense. Okay. So we feed them. So. Yeah, do we have anything to feed them with? Does Flint um, have anything? Ration? 18 on the acrobatics. 18. You jump to the other side and are standing very steady on your feet heading down. Let me check Flint's character sheet. Rations. Uh, he says he has zero rations right now. I don't know if he put There's that no in there way. correct. I don't believe that. I There's don't no way. He doesn't remember. Or gonna, he doesn't keep track of it. He. I'm going to make sure he keeps track of it from now on because how much he uses it. So or Maybe he keeps track of it elsewhere? I think he's, I he's at 10 because there's a zero. He probably just forgot to put the one in front of it. Okay. That would make sense. Uh, Good thinking. So could they be? <laughs> oh! So, could they be like broken into pieces, kind of yeah. deal? Uh, he's he. Uh, is that what you're gonna try and get him to do? Oop, there he goes. I it was. I was just asking if it was something that we could like put into parts so we wouldn't have to use like all of his rations. rations. Yeah, you yeah. can definitely. I'd say um, it would probably satiate the toads. If you broke each of them like into four parts, you're not entirely sure about how much it would take for the scorpions, like breaking That's a ration fair. into four parts. Right. We could toss some to them anyways. Yeah. <laughs> so, Flint would break up his ration into four different parts and uh, break up two of them, and then send them to these toads, and they seem to just like go off and away and do their own business at the moment. Sitting there, food. Food. Yep. food, 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 nom, 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 nom. I speak food. I, I speak food now. I speak <laughs> toad. Now. I speak <laughs> food sometimes. Um, so, <laughs> Flint would probably save the other ration, and unless, um, unless he has to, th unless you guys want him to throw it to the other scorpions. But uh, we're gonna change that to eight. that. Could be like a possibility, like if. But me and him kind of split up and took some on each side so that we yeah. could get the scorpions to kind of go away from Calbio. Sure. In the event that something goes wrong. Yeah. Yeah. So Flint would move over to this side and throw some of the rations over there and it attracts this one. And then this one moves a little bit closer to him. Yeah. Uh, Sega might try to go a little bit further down. Okay. And so he could throw something like over here. There. Cool. Yeah. And then Calvio, go ahead and make me a. These guys would be in here by now, with the broken glass. Munching on these things. We'll say this one is closer, and this one is like right, right on top, eating it. So they're all right there. Um, Calvio, go ahead and make me another acrobatics check, getting to. There's this another one. eighteen. Another eighteen. Nice. Awesome. Jumping over here. Um, you see that this glass is a little less stable due to the shatter. Um, it looks mm -hmm. like it may hold you. It may not, depending on how well you land. Great. With this. So you go, come back over here. So heading over. Yep. So with Flint. Nice. 22. 22. As you yeah. step 18 and plus land. 18 Heck yeah. You see. Um, and also, now that you're from this vantage point... Um, as you land on this glass, it seems to move slightly, but you hold yourself balanced. You're currently invisible, right? Yes. 
Okay, you would see on the other end, on the other side of the sea lions now, there is a safe set into the wall right here. Oh. You still have that guidance if you need it. Oh. So there's a safe right there and a door to, directly to your right if you want to hop down. I'm definitely hopping down. At this point, make me a stealth check. With advantage, because you're invisible. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> 22. 22. The sea lions are just munching away right now at the... Okay, okay, the, okay. The, the dealios. Can I go to the safe? All right, so you're gonna try and get past the sea lions. Yep. Uh, Go into the safe. The, with the 22, I, I was gonna say passing them would be a DC 20 because they're currently eating, but getting through, you're able to just quickly just get through. Um, seeing the safe, it seems the epitome of a rogue. Yeah. <laughs> right here. Um, <laughs> all right. Gonna scooch on what are you gonna do? Here. Um, is, is it like, like a spin lock, a key lock? Uh, looks to be a key lock. Or no, no, no. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it is is definitely a spin lock. It was funny. You made the motion for the spin lock, but then you said yeah, key. and then I said key. <laughs> it's like no, I did. The, it's a spin lock. <laughs> okay, so as long as I don't attack or cast the spell, I'm fine. I, I'm doing neither of those things. Okay. <laughs> Um, can I, like, put my ear up against it and quietly try to spin the lock to here? Sure. Uh, what are you trying to accomplish? I'm trying to open the safe. You're trying to open the safe? Um. Yes. So, I guess, yeah, go ahead and make me a, um... Please say sleight of hand. Please say sleight of hand. Please say sleight of hand. I was hand. gonna say thieves tools check, but with your oh, that's good uh, too. with your wisdom modifier because you're listening. I'm proficient with thieves tools. Do yeah, I add so, that with so, it? So yeah, add your proficiency modifier and your wisdom modifier. Okay. <laughs> so three plus three. So six. okay, at plus six. Got it. Okay. Don't fuck up. Don't fuck me, dice. It did not fuck me. 24. 24. 18 plus 6. So, as you're turning it, you seem it's like, oh, okay, cool. You find the right tumbler here, there. Then you spin, you get a little excited, and you find it, and it clicks. Then the safe swings open. But you notice as, how do I describe this correctly? Um, as you pulled it open, you all of a sudden, the room around you just begins to go <laughs> And you're looking around and all of you see this, the glass is just vibrating. And then we're gonna have we're going to end right there. And we're going to start with you guys rolling initiative. <laughs> invisible, though! Yeah, yeah well, you opened the safe! <laughs> Didn't check Do I chance. even know what's in the fucking safe? You would have seen that there's a shit ton of gold in there. Yes! Okay! Yeah. So, God damn it. Goes down to get the door in roguelike style, decides yep. to steal all the gold and get in trouble. There's there's a lot of coin and then there is a huge there's a huge ruby sitting next to this coin. But a huge what? Ruby. Ruby sitting next to it. Yeah, like big. Um so uh we'll go ahead and end right there. And <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you guys, come on. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. 
Right. Every time. You're gonna get eaten by sea lions. I'm, I'm not gonna, gonna get eaten by sea lions. You're gonna get eaten by sea lions. I'm not gonna get eaten by sea lions. Just so that we have. Nika's gonna stand there and be are, like, "You moron!" You are right there, and you slip past these sea lions. Everybody's there. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how this pans out. Next time, for everybody. Who's I mean, we wouldn't have seen him go down. Nope. We would have just seen no. the safe open.